I'm going to turn on these things. Okay, hey everybody. Um, hopefully you can now hear us. I was getting some audio issues earlier. We didn't get any music during the lead-in. So if somebody in chat would be so kind as to let me know. Hey, we can hear it. All right, thank you so much, Katrina. Um, this is High Shelf Gaming. I'm David. We're going to do a little one-shot tonight. A little one-shot. little hey. What's up? Crash the system. A little cyberpunk one-shot. It's a one-page RPG, a hack of lasers and feelings which we've played on this channel before run by taylor over at the con save um on loan to us tonight from the con save blair welcome welcome back hi it's good it's good to have you here um yeah. and uh we have our you know some familiar faces or uh, uh boxes with with blue faces in them um <laughs> gavin and who's that Ethan. who's that with the blue face yeah <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we are going to do a little one-shot tonight. This is a cyberpunk-themed uh, one-shot. It's, um, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. I read the rules um, earlier while we were in pre-live <laughs> pre mode. Um, so I, we're good. We're mm -hmm. good. Um, so yeah. That's the, beauty, that's the beauty of it. That is the that's beauty the, of the, the one page. That's it's the, like one page. <laughs> yep. Yep, exactly. And hey, I have a link for everybody. If you want to get in on Crash the System, you want to get it for yourself. It's it's pay what you want. That's the that's the beauty of this thing. It's pay what you want. Um, and uh, Gunmetal Draws put it together. Let's see here. It's over on Itch. There it is. Here, I'm just going to toss it in the chat. I'm going to toss it in the chat here. Um, super simple. Super simple stuff. Right? That's good. Toss some dice. Yeah, let's throw, let's let's roll some dice. Let's do some stuff. Um, so don't even, don't even look at them. Just toss them. Just just tell me, win or lose. <laughs> what does your gut say when you throw it? <laughs> do you think you should have done that thing? Like, do you really think that should have worked? <laughs> <laughs> when you go to sleep, if at that night, was the, are you gonna feel? Is that gonna sit well with you? <laughs> if that was the rule, man, just role playing games would end very quickly. Always. <laughs> always. Always. Should that work? Absolutely not. Never. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, let's get let's let's set the stage a little bit um, for our three system crashers. Uh, the year is uh, you know twenty something. Uh, let's call it let's call it twenty twenty two. Year is twenty twenty two. You're a member of the Society Liberation Organization Raptor with some numbers in there. Um, numbers instead of vowels, right? We don't believe in vowels in this alphabet. It is only numbers. Wherever you see a vowel, you replace that shit with a number. Um, you better believe it. Vowels are fake. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Our society is trapped in a social system designed to isolate. Um, your mission, your, your, your kind of calling in life is to disrupt that, to, to fight against that in kind of a true cyberpunk way. Uh, whatever that means to you is is correct, right? So as players, wh whatever that means to you, if that's like going after like Dead Kennedy vibes or, um, you know, Rancid or whatever, or if you're like um, New Punk and it's all about the style, right? Whatever, whatever that is, like you 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 define and you tell me. And we'll, we'll figure Rush out. now. It's going to be good. It's fucking A, Rush. Yes, thousand percent. Um, now you guys are all members of an online, uh, a lo an online community and you have been getting guidance, leadership, you've been getting tips and, uh, and things and, and uh, that sort of stuff from a, a person by the name of, of Darcy, which is D four R dash C Darcy has been gone for two weeks. You haven't heard from them. In a minute, uh, you don't know where Darcy lives, what they look like. That's all part of the gig, right? An anonymity. But the three of you know each other um, because Darcy has put you all in a, a couple of jobs. You've done some some work for Darcy. You know you're part of this larger group that's secret, right? Because all of you have day jobs and all of you have other things that you're doing to just you know get by, not get uh, not get squashed, you know, by the authority the power so you kind of make out a living in this kind of dual mode living we've got your 
public face, and then you've got this you know, liberation society, liberation organization that you're a part of. And let's place this East Coast. You're in the sprawl, right? It's straight concrete from Eastern Canada all the way down to the bottom of Florida. Just concrete. There's even some areas where the, the air got so bad, they domed it off. Uh, and so you guys are in one of these big domes. Um, and it has its own weather pattern in there. Just the way the air moves through it. Sometimes it rains. Sometimes it doesn't. Some, pot, some parts of the dome are, are it never rains. It's super dry. Uh, and you guys are, are a couple of levels down. Um, you're not even you're not even at a level that gets to see the grime of the sun as it goes through the 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 glass plexiglass thing that's been caked over by years of you know pollution and, and all that kind of stuff. You're 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 down lower. You've got all this like red artificial lighting and um, you know some areas don't have good power, so like the emergency lights come on every so often and, and that kind of thing. You're um, think like. Oh, like, um, like Final Fantasy VII, the cloud and all those guys were down lower, right? Um, mm -hmm. Underneath some shelves. Uh, Blades in the Dark, we were in a neighborhood that had, like, different levels to it, and we were down in the lower Force levels. Um, yeah. Star Wars. There you go. Yep, yep, exactly. So think like that. You're in this kind of grimy, underworld-type place. Um, and uh, I think the first thing, now that we kind of know an idea about what's around us and what you can kind of run into and, and that sort of thing. Let's, let's meet our, let's meet our characters. Let's, let's do some character creation and find out uh, who is it that's eking out a living down here. And then we'll, we'll get into what exactly is going on with you all. Um, so the first thing for you all to create characters, we have to choose a style. Now the, the, the book, um, or the, sh the sheet, the one sheet of paper, has some, some ideas here. Um, you can use these. If you have another style in mind, by all means, do so. Um, you know, and I'll just read off a couple of them, like hard-boiled, dogmatic, dangerous, analytical, um, uh, paranoid, that kind of thing. Um, do either of you have any styles? I'm going to start writing down, writing down stuff just so I know who y'all are goes to go last oh okay. <laughs> um i go got i I'm, I'm i'm kind of torn between idiosyncratic and unique which would you prefer i can go with either oh i like idiosyncratic just because it's such a long word <laughs> yeah all right idiosyncratic it is okay i um i think i think my character thinks they're analytical but they're actually <laughs> just paranoid <laughs> 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 so i'm gonna write paranoid down awesome <laughs> They think they're analytical, but that's just social anxiety and ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So they're 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 paranoid, but it uh, it expresses itself as as uh, as a form of analysis. That's like, good. Oh yeah, I love like it. Like me, very keyed into the situation. I love it. Well, shit. I shouldn't have gone last. Uh, <laughs> now, one of the things you liked was taken. You, you can you have two people of the same style. You're just different flavors of the same style. You know, like, you know, punk, punk goth, you know, scene kids. Like, they're all kind of in the same style, but they are distinctly different. So I'm okay with two people having the same style. Well, so, like, are you, when you say, when you, I... <laughs> don't overthink this don't overthink this don't overthink this this is the, what is the what is the first or second thing that came to your head that's the answer who are you talking to yeah. who are you talking yeah. to this, um i'm just this character is not going to exist in four hours okay so <laughs> well i'm trying to they just like this forever on the internet yeah. <laughs> okay mr paranoid <laughs> Already be good. I mean, okay, I, I'm I'm just trying to think how can I take the energy that I'm actually feeling and just make it into a character. Um, so maybe like I was, you said paranoid with like like thinks they're analytical, but it's actually like anxiety. Can I just can I just be panicked? Panicked. I love yeah. panicked. Panic. Yeah, panicked. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. The next right. step. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> because yeah. because paranoid is just like, oh man, they're all out to get us, man. Yeah. They're all out to get the man yeah. is out yeah. to get us, man. And then panic is like, huh? Yeah. Here they are. You're the man. They're right there. You're the man. You're, you're the man. You like you like have to cross the street and there's cars whizzing by, like air vehicles like phew, 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 by. And you're like, okay, okay, dying, dying, dying. And the then you go. <laughs> just panic. The yeah. Right dying on three. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also thinking panicked in the way of like has no idea what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. So kind of like all of that yeah. just in a in a ball. Yeah, good. So <laughs> yeah, I, maybe maybe of... signed up for Raptor as like a like a fun fun way to seem like an activist and then yeah. they actually called you and you were like, "Oh shit." Oh shit. I think <laughs> it, ex- of... it exists in another place besides Twitter. That's yes. upsetting. Yeah. I think a friend a friend sent me a link once and I was like, "Yeah, I'll click it to be nice." But actually <laughs> nice. but now it's like real. Now it's yeah, real. I'll be, and, uh, yeah, I'll be in your <laughs> social change organization. Yeah, sure, I think, bud. I think it only makes sense then that Raptor since you clicked this link to be nice, they probably leveled some so a little bit of social pressure on you. Right. Oh, totally. Totally. You know, j- just picked on that. Like you might not have any friends if you don't click on this link type, mm. type scenario, that kind of panic that can set in and turns oh, out 100%. that Raptor is actually kind of a multi-level situation. So like mm. your friend has recruited 10 people and yeah. now mm-hmm. you have to be recruiting some people too. Just yeah, to tell like... <laughs> But you say, <laughs> look, <laughs> if we could get, if we could get the multi-level marketing people onto some sort of like social change platform, <laughs> the world would be fundamentally different. <laughs> Perpetual energy machine. Fundamentally different. Can All can right. can the wording of that email also be like send this now or you know you'll lose five years off your life? Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. click on the bloody Mario game. Yeah. 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 Through the All nanobots. Them, we'll sit, the nanobots will come and take five years away from you. And then probably... the nanobots are real, right? Your buildings are your buildings <laughs> always shift and move a, sh- a little bit as these like microbots you know, consume mm-hmm. the rock next to them and, and make the building bigger or smaller or whatever it is. So yeah, well, and also probably that. probably she wasn't even sent the email by a friend. It was probably a work acquaintance, but it's like <laughs> it's just like yes. I don't get emails. So like <laughs> what? You're the only there person was, I could trust. There was <laughs> really like Colin, Colin yeah. Robinson. Yes. That is so yes. Good. That yes. Is so good. 100%. All right. So so the next thing now that we know the style of these characters and I, I, the panicked I already know who she is right like the panicked person <laughs> dresses a specific way on the street and we have all seen this person oh uh, yeah the shoes don't match i'm sorry blair they don't match no, that's totally fine <laughs> yeah. that's totally fine <laughs> okay good totally I love it. fine. I love it. um all right so the role uh the role for your character this is like um how you are what when your group, the three of you, go out and do something, this helps us kind of define, all right, hey, this is your turn. This is your moment, right? This is what you do. This is what you bring to the table, right? So we need to, we need to kind of pick mm-hmm. our, our role here. And we've heard some of these roles before from other games. If there's any questions about what these things mean, I'm, I'm happy to d- dive into them. But it's stuff like corporate drone, ghost, um, rigor, which is like a, a person who um controls drones right and and like and like almost as if they extend their consciousness into the drone can like manage a bunch of drones that's a rigor um i know in like yeah so that's a rigor um rocker is you know charismatic leader type type person back alley doc you know these sorts of things you guys can see the list um any questions about any of this stuff or um or just I mean, something leap out at you can we establish that in this world, a street samurai is just a mall ninja that went through intense years of training? <laughs> All right. Um, they left. Okay. They stepped out of the mall and into the streets. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's, uh, yes, yes, and right. So every <laughs> every mall ninja kiosk, the back room is a dojo, right? Yes. And you study the blade at the mall, right? <laughs> And the sensei yep. is the like kind of overweight person behind the counter who like constantly mm-hmm. leather sharpens every blade, even yes. though, you know, it's like there's a bat lift, you know, and all that stuff is back there. Uh, and they're all incredibly sharp implements of war. After after you pay enough for enough classes, you go from mall ninja 
to Subway Shinobi, <laughs> and then eventually to Street Samurai, and then to Skyscraper Shogun. That's oh yes. But none of, were, none of us, none of us were that. World does not exist. There's no Skyscraper Shoguns here. Um, but you, no. you have passed the Mall Ninja uh, step at the very. You're ready to go out in the streets. Yeah. I You're at least like a like a like a like a blue belt. <laughs> blue belt. Okay. If you if either of you go Street Samurai, we have to know which mall you trained at, and yeah. <laughs> and the What's name your of lineage? the store. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What is your what is your <laughs> what is your mall lineage? Yeah. <laughs> I was I was thinking of playing a hacker. I just I just needed to make the connection oh. between Mall Ninja and Street Samurai. You just needed to ruin that role for somebody else. <laughs> Dang it, Ethan. Did. That is so mean. Brutal. I gotta drink more coffee to get on this level. I'm just yeah. like oh, I just need, to, I just need to bring I just wanted to build out this lush setting. Yeah. This you know this, fantastical this world. This world, yes, of course. Um so, yeah, I think I'm going to go ha hacker, though, which basically just means my day job is IT. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Your um, day job is definitely IT. I think in the hacker world, um, it would be really fun if, like, you were just playing, like, a video game the whole time. <laughs> you know, like, you don't actually know scripting and coding and all that kind of stuff. But there's some, like, hacker app that you can <laughs> download. And you can like use it to like break into shit. And it's like mm -hmm. we'll get into what your avatar looks like and how they do the thing. Is it swords? Is it yeah. blasters? Is it like dragons or whatever? You'll figure that stuff out. But like you don't actually know how to code. You just play this one game super well, and that game happens to gain you access to weird shit. It's kind of like Watch Dogs in that way where you get the, the like, exactly CTOS, you get the CTOS app or whatever, and you get the little like AR thing, and that's yeah. all you need. You just like press buttons and stuff yeah. happens. Beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Let's, it, draw inspiration from anywhere. Yeah. Thousand percent. Okay. Um, I hacker. think my character is an investigator. Ooh, um, okay. That's what he calls himself. He really runs a, a puzzle and toy shop. But <laughs> at night, people hire him to do things things yeah okay find things sure lost keys <laughs> runaway pets so he's dead pets he, all the stuff he's he's he investigates but not like high-end shit it's like like it's like I it's mean, like it's like, it's like, it's like the it's like the uh, inane quandaries that's what he finds <laughs> he's really good at that and he's always chasing that bigger thing and he always thinks that there's something more to it so right. yeah good i that's that's beautiful i love that that's your investigator. Okay. I don't know that this game was meant to create a bunch of jackasses, but we, we successfully created just a team of jackasses. That is us. That Say. is us applying ourselves to this game. Okay. That is not this mm -hmm. game's fault. So folks at home, this is crash. The system could be played with a very different vibe, but this is yeah. the vibe you're getting from us. Okay. I just can't, I just can't do one pages in like, and make the make the very serious character. No, yeah, no, I, I get you there. Yeah. I get you there. Yeah. It's great. In such a cool world, we've made uh yeah, we've made some characters. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely characters. <laughs> Emphasis on the character. Okay. Flair, <laughs> what is your role in this crew? I mean, is corporate drone like a like a cubicle like pencil pusher? That's kind of what I'm thinking. It can I'm be. just yeah. thinking, sure, just like basic, basic, like nothing, nothing. Another reason why the email was, yes. you know, um, a little like exciting is because yes. it's the most exciting thing that's ever happened. Yes. Um, um, yeah. <clears throat> and and maybe uh, you are panicked <clears throat> about being fired all the time. Oh, straight up panicked about everything. Yeah, and um, and maybe the person who sent you that email kind of looked at your dress at the way you put yourself together in this panicked state, and thought, "Oh shit, she's edgy. She's got like you know, she's got some stuff going That's on." Too. And they just they just missed the mark, right? They're like, "Oh man, she's so like out there and alternative, and like she is definitely like it. is is definitely like pushing back against the norms, right?" It's mm -hmm. like, no, actually, she's just terrified. <laughs> yeah also probably a higher up too like just a slight higher up like maybe like the um uh you know cubicle hub the group 
a boss. Mm-hmm. So like not really a boss, but like I team, take it team leader kind of thing. Team leader, thank <laughs> yeah, you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I take him as a boss. So it's like <laughs> There's so many levels to why I had to be a part of this. Yes. Oh, it's like a it's like a shift it's like a shift lead. Yes. Where it's like you're just a regular employee. There's nothing different about what you do. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Make but it you, sound fancy. But you got that SL. I have, yeah. <laughs> I have nothing else in my life. I can't get fired from this job. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I gotta gotta make a little note there. We, this email keeps coming up, so I gotta. We're, that's gonna have to come up later. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right, good. So hey, yeah, we already know a lot about you guys, right? Um, we know we know kind of how you how you present yourselves, what you do for the crew, that good stuff. Um, the next thing we gotta do is we have to choose your number, because this game has one stat, and that's that's it. There's some, you know, we've come up with some ideas, but now we have to figure out the stat. Um, and that number is between two to five and, uh, you know, a low number means you're really good at crashing, which is all of the intuition, disruption, social stuff, uh, illegal activity, um, anything where we can like justify that there's like a lot of passion or emotion behind what you're doing. That's crashing. So low number, you're good at crashing. Um, if you go for a high number, that means you're better at systems which is like technology, bureaucracy, working within the law, uh, logic, all that kind of stuff. So depending on what kind of action you're going to take in the game, um, if you give your stat a high number, you're going to be rolling under that number a lot on a D6. Uh, So you're going to be really good at systems. If you give yourself a low number, you're going to be rolling over that a lot, which means you're going to be pretty good at crashing. Uh, And that'll come up later on when I ask you to make a check for crashing or systems tells us, you know, when you roll the die, are you going to be under or over your stat? So if you make yourself like a two, you're going to be really good at crashing, but you're going to suck at systems. Uh, so, you know, kind of think in, in those terms of like, how focused do you want to be on our one stat? Do you want to be a two or a five, or do you want to be somewhere in the middle? Uh, you, you, all, you all tell me. Just call it out. How do you feel? I think, I'm thinking if my guy's a hacker, he's going to be really good at systems. Probably really bad at talking to people. Okay. My, yeah, and my guy's gonna be two. All right, you're going five for system, and then Gavin opposite going two. All right, sweet. Yeah, sweet. He's he's not good at the puzzles he sells, but boy, can he sell them. Oh shit! So he's really a salesman. That's good. That's he's really a salesman. And but the the puzzle aspect of his life, because he thinks he's got all the ones that he sells. Yeah. The puzzle aspect in his life is the shit he does outside of work, which is just all gut there's no logic behind anything sweet all gut is he like just secretly installing rfid chips on everybody's like stuff that he finds in case they ever lose it again (laughs) so you can super easily find it the next time oh my god no doesn't know what rfid chips are boom you'll find them that's that's a perfect answer he just he just goes with his gut he's like you know what that guy seems like he hangs out a lot in the the palm let's go check out the palm and sure shit there he is (laughs) all right good i love it and uh, Blair, I'm sorry. Go ahead. And I wish there was a 3.5 because that'd be perfect. Um, oh, so is it a three or a four? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a three just because I feel like that goes more with like just just always relying on the panic, just that fight or flight. <laughs> so um, so I feel like a three is better, but I don't want her to be good at it. So so yeah, okay. it's just like yeah, no, I'm, I'm just I keep picturing like bad luck, but in a person. Yeah, no, and this is this is really good because you know. Um... So like in Lasers and Feelings, if you if you roll correctly, right, you you are above or below the target number um, or your stat, then then in that case, um, you've succeeded. And if you succeed with like two dice, then you've like fully succeeded. You're not even gonna take a negative and in, in something else or or be harmed in, in, in some way. But with like a three, you're kind of middle of the road. So if you're rolling a couple of dice, you're probably gonna have one or two successes. Right, especially if you Sweet. can figure out a way to justify three or more dice. Somebody, maybe somebody helps you out, kind of deal. Um, now, remember, just like in Laser and Feeling, if you roll your number exactly, so Gavin rolls a two, Ethan rolls a five, 
Blair, you roll a three, then you have crashed the system. And not only do you succeed, but you also get to ask me some question, um, and your character is going to understand a new truth about the situation that they're in, right? And you're gonna have you're gonna be able to kind of peek behind the curtain a little bit, and 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 just kind of connect some dots as a character about the about the world around you and what's really going on to maybe get you closer to the um, the truth of the matter and solve whatever problem I'm about to put in your laps. Um, so good, we've got our number, and we kind of know how that's going to work. We, we've played this game once before, so we we've played the other game once before. So we got a we got a working knowledge here. Um, okay. Number four, one signature piece of gear or advantage that your character uses. Um, <clears throat> so they have a bunch of examples in here depending on who you are. I think that this is pretty open-ended. Um, so if there is a piece of gear that you think my character would absolutely have this and would use it and it will come up in the game, let's have that piece of gear. Uh, the examples they have are like, Illegal military weapons, um, state-of-the-art hacking deck, um, you know, uh, uh, a loyal fan base, uh, optical camo suit, you know, thermoptic camouflage, that kind of stuff. Um, or, uh, you know, a favor from somebody super important, right? It's just in your pocket. You can go call that, you know, call that marker, bring that in, right? Um, so, yeah, I think any... Any one thing that you think, yep, I, I know my character would use this, and you can kind of imagine it coming up in a couple of situations, that would be interesting. I, I don't want you to have, like, I don't know, a super shiny car, because we're probably not going to drive around a lot, right? I want it to be something that's actually going to come up and, and, and get used. Like, a, like an cool. all-terrain scooter. Would See, be better. Yeah, a scoot totally, right? Because we can justify a scooter in a lot more situations. So yeah, that's that's where you want to go. I have a I have a state of the art deck because I am an elite hacker. Right. Okay, perfect. <laughs> perfect. So you're I yeah. Do go ahead. Go ahead. I have the trench coat in quotation marks and uh capital T's. Um and what the uh, what the trench coat is is it's it has everything. It has cigarettes, drugs gunk glands, garbage, possibly a knife. It has kind of whatever. Like the coat of many pockets. Yeah. yeah. Yes, but Sweet. like cyberpunk. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So so inside this coat, we'll find out what's in this coat. We'll find later. out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the world may never know all of its contents, but, but we will yeah. certainly find some of them. That's good. I like it. Mm. What's up, Don? Welcome. <laughs> So I was thinking, I was thinking corporate ID, but can I have like a pen that's also like a Swiss Army knife? Or is that too much? <laughs> <laughs> but like not a really nice ballpoint <laughs> pen <laughs> that has that has a, a little that break the game? a little that break a the game. little blade inside. <laughs> Just blade. a very teeny tiny <laughs> little blade. Is that you what if that is the corporate, blade, what if that is the corporate ID? <laughs> oh my a, god, yes, that's on it. Too. I have a guy with a trench coat of any item he can come up with later, <laughs> and you want one item with a quarter inch blade on it. <laughs> that's probably dull as shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna sharp. Just that's dull. a letter opener. Probably a little... No, I think you yep. got to put that in the envelope. I can put this thing. No, no. Here's the deal. Here's what you got. You, <laughs> you have, you have a a fine ballpoint pen, right? It's an Apple pencil. <laughs> Style does so many things. <laughs> but it can write on any surface. But when you twist the cap, <sighs> the the pen part gets swapped out for a little needle that will absolutely kill someone. No fucking breaks. Whoever you jab that thing in, they die, and we don't. There's no like maybe they do, maybe they don't. They're just dead. You get one of those, you can just like boop. That person stops existing. That's what the infomercial told me. That's, <laughs> I'm so excited. Yes. Yeah, you, the modern you, day. 
I saw I saw an ad at the gym the other day for a watch that has mace in it. It's like a like a bracelet or something. Mm-hmm. You squeeze it and it shoots I out know, mace. Yeah, I know what you're talking that's about. That's like the that's the cyberpunk version of this. Yes. Is like yeah. twist that bubble pin, you will kill someone. Yeah. Yeah. Someone will die. Yeah. They will so die. someone someone is gonna die because this should not be in the hands of somebody as jumpy as I'm picturing this character. Yeah. So uh, that's why I want you to have this. Uh, it's also okay. the panic, <laughs> like the panic player right. should have this. Um, and I think that but like I'm gonna be dead an hour in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it now. <laughs> so not my character, me. Right. right. <laughs> someone will die. <laughs> Right now on stream. Um, so the other thing is about this uh, about this pen. I do want to say that yeah, you got into Raptor, right? And you worked the system, right? You were like panicked, like oh no, they're not gonna like me. They're gonna kick me out, right? And so like how you know how in Mary Kay eventually you earn the pink car. <laughs> yeah. In Raptor, you eventually er- earn the murder pen, right? Okay. And you have done whatever it took <laughs> to get this murder pen. So it's a super normal, beautiful stylus pen thing. It can write on anything. It can write on any tablet or whatever, right? You can just use it. You can graffiti any wall you like. It'll never run out of ink or color options, mm. right? It <laughs> sizes ink within itself. Yeah, yeah. And exactly. also deadly poison. Well, what, so, yeah, and also, and poison. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's a nanobot pen. It uses little nanobots to like take, um, take uh, pigments out of things. And okay. you know uses that to make whatever colors you want, and it also uses the nanobots to create a um, you know a jellyfish toxin that will just murder a person. A deadly, a this deadly. All, yeah. This all is great. Sweet, yeah, cool. So that's okay. what you got. I, I'm yeah. down with the pen. I just wanted it to be more than a little oh. blade. <laughs> <laughs> I also, I also picture like, like maybe if she's here long enough to get this like special company pen or what or group right. not sorry not company right. organization pen right. she still feels like a noob oh yeah it's like i've been here for 10 years but i i still i'm still fresh i'm still fresh yeah oh yeah. So, imposter syndrome is, yeah oh straight yeah, up say, is blair paying him imposter syndrome the person <laughs> <laughs> play what, oh, play what you know what the gecko therapist said yes <laughs> Imposter syndrome is a win-win. Yeah, that's right. If you're competent or very good at deceiving people, and both of those are incredible feats. Incredible feats. <laughs> exactly. All right. So last thing, we need we need to give yourselves names. Um, not maybe not the last thing. I think we have more one or two more things to do. Um, we need to come up with a cool cyberpunk name, right? Um, uh, Decker was the name in Blade Runner, and then K9 was the name in the next Blade Runner. Um, so you know whatever you like. As your as your character name in here, we just need to make sure it's it's cool and you know something from the street of my, this dystopian my, future. My name is Night Shroud. Night Shroud. Okay. And uh, several of those letters are numbers. <laughs> <laughs> several, everybody. Several. Perfect. Uh, just Shroud. just the I and the T and the S and the O <laughs> specifically. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Lead speak Night Shroud. Got it. <laughs> Night Shroud. Perfect. Thank you. Then the name's Flask, um, with the L being a seven, and all of that written upside down. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, hold on a second. Um... <laughs> Flips paper. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, yeah, Flask, everything written upside down. Oh, I... I... I fucked that all up too. Okay, <laughs> Flash that's all right. That's, he probably would fuck it up too. You're all good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I might need y'all to help me with this, but um, it's gonna be Lorraine. But I want her to it like that's her actual name. But then she does like a typo somehow to make it look cooler on accident. So she thought she was just like typing in her name. Um, when like the setup of this was happening, but maybe like some, some switch of I um, like maybe. Okay, I, I, idea. I have an idea. Um, okay, go ma- for it. Ma- maybe maybe um, Lorraine is her real you know name given to her by her parents, but when she yeah. got to type it in, she typed in like L Rain, like just the letter L-Rain, L, yeah. and then Rain. Right. So yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. now just everybody knows her as like, what's up, L Rain or Rain? Yeah. You know, like 
it has a little bit more of a, a thing to it. I like it. Because I was thinking like low rain like she just she just didn't do the r and it said it was a w but i don't know i don't know what that means is that a, is, is that does that mean something to a subculture we're unaware of nope i don't think so but my brain was like that's not cool um uh so i like l rain better okay sweet l rain it is <laughs> Oh I'm god. telling you, I'm just playing me. It's just me. <laughs> oh my god, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, um, so we need to we need to also give you all an, another like kind of distinguishing feature. Uh, you have um, either a long trench coat, which we already know that uh, uh, Mister Flask upside down ha already has that. Um, mirror shades, a burner phone, neural uplink, uh, a knife, a pipe, a single use taser. Some kind of like some other cyberpunky object that's a little bit more mundane, right? It's not your like big flashy go to thing. It's your kind of mundane side piece kind of deal. Definitely got the long black trench coat and the fingerless gloves. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. With some sick mirror shades. <laughs> I know this is long trench coat or mirror shades, but I don't feel like that's a that's a decision we have to make. Yeah, it. it I feel it, like it, we have to choose. <laughs> it can be both. Sure, sure. You know, I want to say that what it is, what they're saying here is you have a long trench coat or shades, a burner phone, a neural uplink, and a single light weapon, like a knife, a pipe, or a single use taser. So I think. I definitely got the taser. Okay, I, I, the think, taser. I think that case. you don't get to have both the trench coat and the shades. You get to choose between the two. I feel like that's not a decision that we have to make. <laughs> <laughs> rules is written oh yeah fuck it <laughs> do whatever you want <laughs> and i'm gonna add, i'm gonna add fingerless gloves to that well stew uh -huh. <laughs> I, know, I knew you were i knew you were gonna bring up the fingerless gloves again <laughs> it's impossible to avoid you got my hacker you know so i gotta yeah. protect the hands but i gotta keep the fingers free that's right the hands are warm but the fingers <laughs> cool are gotta keep them cool fingers gotta be free they gotta be accurate i gotta feel it it's all about touch <laughs> um Hacking by touch. Uh, also, the inside of the trench coat where the pockets are, incredibly colorful, like metallic thread, tie dye, like way over the top. Sweet, beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's so a, it's if you're a, ever it's tripping like a, and looking it's like at a this jacket, kaleidoscope of color in there. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Okay, love it. Um, so yeah, and his mundane thing is probably just a pack of cigarettes, maybe. Okay. Well, so you're gonna get that whole list. You're gonna get the trench coat without oh. the shades. You're going to get a burner phone. You're going to get a neural uh, uplink and a light weapon of some kind, knife, pipe, or taser. I see. Oh, got it. Got yeah. it. My, my light weapon is definitely like the cell phone case taser. <laughs> like, um, and you can, you can wire it into your battery for that little bit of extra juice. Mm -hmm. It's like, do you want them to stop messing with you or do you want them to piss themselves? <laughs> it's one little plug. <laughs> That's it. Drains your battery. Yep. Oh, but, yeah. you know, your phone's dead now. It's, it's like that. Matt but that man just pissed himself. That, uh, that destroys your battery. It's just like that, but it's a taser. <laughs> yeah. I, I think Flask's weapon is actually going to be a lighter, but if you just like click it two times, it's just like a stream of fire. Okay. It's like a very. Oh, it's like the little butane torch. Yeah. Ones yeah, but like, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. I'm into but, like, that. Really hot. Yeah. I'm into that. One of the gimmicky ones you get at a gas station. Like the lighter. Do you notice who those like crazy lighters they sell at gas stations sometimes? Zippos. No, no. These are the ones um, that, like the little torches, or they yeah. they have like they'll do like a little taser beam. Mm -hmm. It'll use like electricity to light the cigarette or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The plasma ones are wild. Yeah, yeah. Wild. There's a reason why they're sold in gas stations. Okay, so Blair, what would you <laughs> like to have? <laughs> uh, can I have a? What is that? Like a, like a. Is it a nightstick? What's the stick? Uh, yeah, oh, like a little that... baton? Yeah, I want a baton. You like, you like, it's like a telescoping baton. Like you flick it and like tch, 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 comes out and you can just beat somebody down. Cool. Straight up. Yeah, yeah Straight you have up. one of those. Absolutely. I bought it on the same infomercial as the pin. It came for free. Yes. I mean, one of those night sticks that everybody bought after Watch Dogs came out. Yeah. <laughs> the first one, the first Watch Dogs came out, and everybody's like, "Ooh, 
I almost bought one. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure. calling myself out here. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, that actually does seem kind of useful to just have on. I mean, you know, you're not wrong. Um, makes a great paperweight. So, okay, mm -hmm. as as players, just to kind of level set, your goal here is to disrupt the system in true cyberpunk style. Uh, but the character goal, right? The character goal is a little different here. Choose or create one. Um, expose the truth. Create a free community. Finish one last job. Usurp the greatest hacker. Take down a corp. Uh, free a captive AI. Or just keep being awesome. You know, just keep being you. How amazing you are. Um, or come up with some other come up with some other goal that you may have. Um, let me know if this is too abstract. Yes. But to <laughs> get it. it is. It's his goal is just to get it. Like he doesn't get it, but he wants to get it. <laughs> He's like, there's something <laughs> about understand. all of this. That's there's just something not there, in. and I'm <laughs> gonna get it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That's great. I love it. By any means necessary, just get it. I think uh, my goal is to usurp the greatest hacker. Okay, yep. yep. There's just been this Chad on all my message boards. <laughs> and he's been fucking stealing my 60 digital girlfriends <laughs> that may or may not exist. And I'm just oh tired God. of it. Okay? He's just, what, what is, there's, some, there's some old like uh, phone app that my buds, uh, that uh, uh, my wife and, and a bunch of her friends were playing. It's like, it's like a, a hundred a hundred wives or something like that. He's like really good at that game. Oh my you know? God. Oh. <laughs> no, there's one, I, there, there's like more of them now because their ads show all the time, but it's, oh, there's sure. one that where you're like, you're like this ancient Chinese like emperor, yeah, except your avatar, except your avatar looks like a white guy for some reason. Um, <laughs> some reason. But you, and that's like the whole thing. And then they just bring it. It's always like weird like, historical choose, figures want to? that show up. Awesome. I love it. Yeah, this 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 greatest hacker, he has all the digital girlfriends and you have none because <laughs> he is he is uh He stole them on in our in our last raid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so cringe. It's so cringe. Okay. I love oh, it. I love so it. Perfect. I love it. I love it. Okay. Um <clears throat> Blair, so Elraine's um her character goal i think kind of in the same is the same vein as um <laughs> what uh i'm uh, i'm gonna say expose the truth okay so um so she can also find out what the truth is because mm -hmm. she doesn't know what she's doing right. um so it's just it, it's like a combination of that and also be awesome out of fear um and by be awesome um mean accept it yeah 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 so kind yeah. of like a hybrid of those <laughs> is it is it a be awesome by exposing the truth or expose the truth and be to, awesome? to become awesome so the last one is continue being awesome so there's this understanding oh sorry that, there's this understanding that she's not quite there yet if she could just expose the truth she could attain that sure yeah yeah Yes. That's what they told you. That's what you they, they told you in the email anyway. Yeah. The, the email. <laughs> that's right. Recruitment email from Raptor. Yeah. That yeah. apparently you received ten years ago, <laughs> and it stuck with you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're still you're still chasing that truth. Okay. Good. I still um, think about that email every day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pinned up on the fridge. It, it, it shows up in your digital mirror in the morning when you're you know seeing your weather apps and all that kind of stuff. You just see the. The recruitment letter all over again. It's like ten like years ago today, you, you had this memory. Group. Yeah, here's here's your mission. <laughs> your mission, if you choose to accept, is three bullet points: discover the truth, become awesome, question marks, profit. Um, okay, <laughs> so <laughs> the uh, okay last thing we got to do is we got to we have to help define Raptor. We have to define our our little organization here. Uh, your organization is going to have two things that are advantages, and it's going to have one thing that's like a complication. It's like a it's a, a, a sticking point. Um, so Raptor, this group that you're all a part of, um, what is the what, what is something that what are two things that that uh, Raptor has that that you all can use as an advantage? And and they have some examples in here. I'm okay with us coming up with some more untraceable communication experimental ice ice being like a network defense ai that murders people for you um 
and then experiments. Oh, sorry. Uh, secure safe house, well-stocked armory, and an artificial intelligence who's your ally. A legitimate front, right? So there's like some like legitimate business that is out there. A VR suite or a chem lab are the kind of advantages that, that they put in here for, for our, our group that we're a part of. Um, any of those two speaking out to you guys or anything else that you'd like to birth into the world as as advantages that your super secret society of uh liberation if they're recruiting via email i don't feel like untraceable communication is <laughs> is one of our advantages <laughs> it could... if it's chain emails i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but maybe um, that is the last bastion of untraceable communication yeah, just straight up spam email <laughs> they said it no they said it to aol Oh yeah, yeah. To to and from AOL. It's just like who knows what's going AOL. on over there. <laughs> Hasn't um, been touched since the nineties. Yeah. I also like the idea of an AI ally who's just so MLM scummy, where it's just like you just get the vibe that they're like this AI is also trying to build the network for you yes. by like trying to get more people into it. Yes, I love it. To keep track of your um of your goals. Mm-hmm. Like it keeps you like, hey, you know your quota's coming up. You know, let's let's try to hit those limits. If you recruit just three more people, you can get a tote bag, <laughs> get a tote bag. filled with our product that you need to sell. <laughs> <laughs> you get you get you get five more you get five more Raptor bucks um, that you can use can the, the um, Raptor store. A whole five. Can the AI ally ally just be called like Mary Kay? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, AI <laughs> ally could be called like MK. MK. <laughs> is that, is that, does that work okay for you guys? That works. That All works. right. So we have an AI ally um, uh, named M, capital M, capital K. Oh, wait, M K A Y. I don't want to like go against the, the fashion brand there. Uh, so M K A Y. <laughs> and um, yeah, MK is, MK is, is, is good. And MK is, uh, does does want you all to succeed, right? Because your success is MK's success, right? So it, it has a vested interest in your um, uh, in your success and has been very helpful to all of you in the past. And you know that you can call upon MK at any time to help, and and it would do so if if it had that power. Um, so yeah, you have an AI ally uh, helping you guys out, and it's also uh, taking care of your um, Raptor Bucks, which is a cryptocurrency managed by them <laughs> that uh that mk uh, uh doles out to you okay cool so we have we have the ai ally is there anything else out of that list um, um i know i know as a hacker there's some that speak to me but i don't feel like they would be useful to everybody like the like the vr suite or the experimental ice would be probably useful for me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but i don't know Maybe I I kind of like the idea that the emails are untraceable communication. <laughs> <laughs> that like whatever <laughs> service they're using is so old and forgotten. Yes. And that we all just kind of happen to have kept our account over the years. Yeah. I love that. We made it as a joke. Like, oh, <laughs> make a Yahoo mail account. Yeah. Like, make a make a hotmail. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like actually all the right. mega corps have phased it out. Yeah. It's on joke. What are you talking about? It's on some lost server somewhere <laughs> on the net. I'm into that. Stored alongside Yahoo Answers. So now <laughs> yeah. in the But we have also access memory. to that. So if yeah. we ever need random facts. Well that's how MK kids, that's how MK communicates with you is through uh, M MK <laughs> answers. <laughs> MK answers you uh, <laughs> go and ask it, ask it questions. Oh am Am Pregnant? <laughs> and best Pregnant. answer probably yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it only gives us best answers I love that we can type in any question we want but it only uses a pool of best answers from Yahoo answers I love it right, need so more cats names <laughs> now, now I know that I have to pull up Yahoo answers just to <laughs> keep up alright so cool but it's cool. gone now oh man alright well I'm, I think I'm, it's I'm gone honest. okay um, now we need to pick the complication, uh, the, the, the thing that, that holds Raptor back a little bit. Um, you have uh, maybe an international <laughs> warrant 
um, after your members and they're closing in. Uh, you have a sketchy power supply. Um, you uh, you're in debt, like the really the bad, bad kind. Yeah, yeah, not not like <laughs> maybe. Oh no, my future is like. Oh no, my legs are at risk. Maybe <laughs> maybe in debt because Raptor isn't even at the top of the multi level marketing scheme. <laughs> Yes, we owe the multi-level marketing corporate overlords so much money. Uh, I love it. it. There's actually a megacorp. And then Raptor subsidized all of their MLM stuff, made Raptor bucks, so they get all the money. (laughs) Oh, my God. And then they just funnel it into a megacorp. And that's why we split off, because we're in so much debt that it might as well just ruin the system than actually collect that much money. God. Get get some real like Fight Club stuff going on. We're gonna we're gonna pull yeah. all the credit card, the, all the credit bureaus. Can that megacorp also be the the corp that I just work for in my day job? Oh sure, yeah. So my day job and yeah. my night job is the same people, but I don't know that. Yeah, you don't know it. That's even better. Yeah. I like that. I like that's it. the perfect. That, that's that's cyberpunk though. It is. is what that is. It is. It is. You you had no idea that your day job was was actively hampering your your night passion of, of yeah. crashing the system. No, that's good. Yeah. That's very, very dystopian. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you were really confused when they kept sending you to the building where you work at during the day. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, this works out for me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I know. I know that place. <laughs> Looks really familiar. Oh my God. <sighs> okay. I think we've created our stuff. I think we're I think we're we're through um, character creation at this stage. We we've been at this for about an hour. Um, mm-hmm. Do we do we want to take our break now, or do we want to do the kind of the first scene and then take our break? How are you guys feeling? I think maybe like take a break, collect, and then crash the system. That's how I'm feeling. Hmm. I'm into that. Seconded. I'm into that. Okay, so folks, we are going to uh, we, we've 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 sp- spent this last hour uh, uh, forging, creating uh, this this rich tapestry of character and world with many layers to it. Um, most of those layers we cannot attain because we're not high enough in the levels to obtain those layers. But there are layers here, and we're low on those. We're in debt, um, so we're gonna we're gonna take a quick break. We're going to come back with um, maybe starting to understand just what, you know, Flask, Night Shroud, and Elraine have gotten themselves into. And just, just how bad could it really get from here, right? It can't be that bad. It can't be. So, yeah, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in 10. And uh, see you all soon. What is up? We are back. We are going to crash some systems here tonight. Um, we know our characters. We know our, we know our players, right? We've got um, GSSG, Ethan and Blair, playing uh, Flask upside down. <laughs> Night Shroud, the lead hacker, uh, and Elrain, <laughs> the corporate drone. Just trying to get it. Just trying to, just trying to figure stuff out. Get to the truth. Um, so, way back in the beginning, we talked about how your leader, the leader of Raptor, has been missing for two weeks. Uh, Darcy, or D4R-C, Darcy, has been quiet for the last couple of weeks. And this is a huge problem for you guys. Because you went and did a job to retrieve something. The job was successful. You have the thing. And there is no word about where this thing needs to go. None. And it has been sitting in, um, I'm going to say, Ethan, I'm going to say it's over at Night Shroud's place, wherever that is. And this thing is big. It's like, um, you know those like roadie chests on casters where you can put mm-hmm. like a whole drum set inside of it kind of thing? It's one of those big black roadie chests. And it's got, um, you know, the top uh, would slide, would slide open 
and there's this um, like seal all around it of this like really brittle tape, you mm-hmm. know. And you've been very careful not to fuck with this thing because, you know, Darcy told you, don't damage it. If if the seal is broken when you know the handoff happens, it's gonna go south. So everybody's been real careful not to break this seal on this thing. Um, and you've been holding on to it for like two weeks. And Darcy never makes you wait this long. Um, mm. And this is this is becoming a problem. Um, this morning... I had to move my mini fridge out of my apartment. Yeah. <laughs> this morning when you woke up, that little like thing, that the outer edge of it, which had been inert this whole time, started pulsing red. When you woke up, it was pulsing red. And you've called your, your crew together. All three of you are in here. And, you know, you're in this, like, tiny domicile. I don't even know if it's an apartment. It's a domicile. It's wherever Night Shroud, you know, has his leg. It's like a tube motel. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, big enough that yeah. you can turn around and... Right. Yeah. And there's this, like, gargantuan box that takes up more room than the bed, more room than any other piece of furniture in here, and it's glowing red. Even if there's a light on in the room, the whole room gets bathed in this red light. You know, just with how kind of intense it is. And you're all kind of sitting here looking at this crate um, with just, like, the future of raptors hanging in the balance, and you don't even know from what or why. think we should do with it i mean it's really kind of get that mini fridge back in here so if we can move it sooner i'd appreciate it it's kind of cramping my uh, style crouching on the battle that, station the and you, battle you, can, you can see this battle station he's got it's like monitors are 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 um, you know uh, hanging off the wall and these like reticulating mounts, you can move them around and like get this like almost spherical enclosure, right? <laughs> With this around my my gamer my gamer office chair. Yeah, yeah, oh my yeah, racer, exactly. my racer the, X. With the speakers right here, you know, mm-hmm. and a set of like high end <laughs> headphones, right? And like haptic gloves with a joystick, because why not, right? Yep. And because <laughs> you have an elite rig, right? You have you have state of the art deck, so like. Everything here is like it's the nicest. Like Elrain, you've seen network admins, and they don't have setups like this. This guy has a rig. It's got the RGB everywhere. Everywhere, it's wow. all rainbow shit. Every time he does a thing, like there's pulses of light that erupt from wherever he's sitting. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice that the lights turned on on this case for like two days. <laughs> I thought it was just the RGB. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean this is a nice nice rig chromed out there's not even wires you don't even know how it all works it just it just it just emits power don't ask about the cable management i'm just gonna tell you i'm not getting the deposit back <laughs> <laughs> um and uh could you describe the dimensions of the box again yeah, it's it's big like a roadie case. And what I mean by that, I mean like it's probably um let's call it like seven feet long. Right? It has to be it has to be bigger than a bed. So six seven feet long, um, you know, maybe three and a half, four feet wide. Sorry, it has to be three and a half feet because it go through a door, right? It's on it's on heavy metal casters. Um it is a onyx black case that until now never lit up you didn't even know it had lights on it and now the the top um kind of border edge is has this big red band that just warm dims warm dims it doesn't make any sound i'm just making that sound because i like i like mm-hmm. sounds um but <laughs> bright and dims and it's just this like like blood red thing i mean it fills this whole room you could have all the lights on in here and everything it's still like it's just going to cake the walls in red and then and then get dark again and you've had Um, it in here for two weeks 
you probably you probably have like a, a a sheet over it, and you've probably been using it as a table, right? There's okay. probably some like mm-hmm. some like plates and like red solo cups on it and stuff like that is just kind of empty empty two liters of uh, <laughs> mountain rain mountain rain <laughs> <laughs> can't afford the name brands yeah no Not anymore. Cannot. <laughs> cannot cannot citric um, thunder <laughs> citric thunder citric thunder <laughs> um and so and then one other question uh what time of day is it because that will determine Let's call it Certain midnight. It's raining. Okay. You know. Um, I have it in my head. Let me know if everyone's okay with this. Um, after work, Flask puts on his big ass, colorful trench coat and then takes ecstasy because he thinks it makes him a better detective. It does. Um, he doesn't it think it's ecstasy. It absolutely does. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't call it ecstasy. He calls it his um, detective. He calls it MDMA. Yeah. No, he, <laughs> he calls it his inspiration or something. Yeah, he calls it he, he he calls it going into detective mode. Oh, okay. He thinks it's the drug from Limitless, but a dude at a club just gave him a yeah. big baggie of it for a hundred bucks. <laughs> so just... I need to be limitless, um, and the guy's like, "I got a baggie right here. <laughs> Whatever yeah. you want is what this is." <laughs> got a hundred bucks. I haven't been able to get rid of it. <laughs> and so. What he is going to do um, is get really close to this box, not quite touching it. Yep. But then he's going to just take a deep inhale and just kind of feel everything around him. Yeah. 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 Give me a. Um... I'm looking at this box. Sure. Yeah. You're trying to. You're trying to. You're trying to like in tune what's coming out. Yeah. That's what I'm kind of picking up. Yeah. Here. So give me a. Give me a mm-hmm. crash. Give me a crashing roll. Um, you crash uh, just one. Uh, well, so all right. So you get one die, right? You just get the die, mm-hmm. and then you yeah. are an investigator. So that's mm-hmm. at the very least you have. Um, uh, let's see here. You are uh, expertise. Uh, yeah, prepared. you're an expert. You're an expert in this. I'm not gonna say you're prepared because okay. you just showed up. Okay. You didn't know this thing was, you know, got it. doing this, and it's like, oh man, what do we gotta do here? So I'm gonna give you two dice on this. Two dice. Okay. First roll. Uh, and I'm going to be rolling above a two, correct? Uh, correct. Yeah, you are. You want to get above a two because you're trying to crash. Got it. What's going on here? All right, I rolled a three and a five. Okay. All right. So two successes. Um, I'm going to say that with that, you look the, the these sorts of things with uh, a surprise like this isn't good. You. You know that this case has determined it itself is lost, and it is trying to get it found all on its own. Right? There, it's probably sending out some kind of signal. There's probably somebody on the way. Mm. Right? Because this thing sat still for a long, long time, not doing anything, and then some internal mechanism inside of it said, "Okay, I'm done waiting." And uh, now it is actively trying to get itself found, and um, and and you don't you don't know how it's going to do that, but you just intuitively know that this big onyx black case, you know, stuff like that doesn't stay lost forever, and uh, mm-hmm. it can't move, but it can do something to be recovered. Okay, um, and so what he's going to do is he's going to get real close to that case. <laughs> Do a deep inhale, right? Yep. Do it again. And then as he comes up, he's going to be holding his nose, right? He's going to be holding his nose, closed his eyes, and he's just going to be like, this item is lost. And it wants to be found. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. You think... Are they on the way? Is the... Do they know? I... Do you think they know? I don't know. I just know this item is lost. And it wants to be found. And then he lets go of his nose. Okay. Sorry. Took it out of me, but I'm, I'm, I'm back. really not getting that I'm back. I'm not getting that deposit back. I'm not getting that deposit. <laughs> no. Uh, and also the smell in here is bad. You gotta you gotta spray a little bit. Look, I got the the breeze. Cyber for breeze. I got yeah, I got the I got the uh, I got the, <laughs> the cyber the cybreeze. 
I guess it's debris. Is it, is it, is it, is it debris? <laughs> It's debris. Debris. <laughs> I got debris. All right. <laughs> debris. Um, I'm the so guy we're... with his little stand set up on the side of the sidewalk. <laughs> it's right down. next. It's right next to uh, the mall. Uh, mall ninja. What did, yes. what did you say? Yeah. Right next mall to there. Dojo. Yes. Yeah, it's right next to there. Oh, it's the man. side hustle. Yeah. The side hustle. Yeah. <laughs> um, Lorraine has t- uh, taken off her oversized backpack and has pulled out a large stack of um um stapled papers and is like i don't know if y'all read through this whole thing but the organization pdf does not say anything about glowing boxes um not sure not sure what to do in this case uh or lost items that's not here either and she's just like flipping through this like huge ass pdf it's it's like, just a, like trying it's to like find the uh, it's like the Why raptor it employee's handbook. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. That's exactly. Who has a printer anymore? I I'm confused. Yeah, so physical has, copies. Yeah, she has this huge stack of paper. It's been a while since you've seen a stack of paper, so she's connected with something, right? That can produce an artifact like this, and and, and on it is you've seen. The Raptor employee handbook um, on its way to the recycle bin, I assume, for <laughs> Night Shroud. I, I scanned it. Sure, sure, yeah. I mean, I had, I mean, I had a program scan it to see if it mentioned anything cool. Yeah, right. And it doesn't. I had, it was. I had like six keywords that it was searching for. Like keywords include like sweet parties. Yeah, no, none of that. Um, you know, stuff like. <laughs> Sweet parties. <laughs> you scanned uh, 500 pages worth of this? <laughs> She's just like, like flipping not, through, trying to like. Not, not me. I had like the computer do it. Because it's not like the, the aughts, you know, in the future. Oh, wait. Are you sitting in your chair? I'm definitely sitting in the chair. Damn it. Okay, never mind. With all the Flask, Flask like will be bathing him in light. Yeah, Flask will be right there, like just very close to the chair, and then just staring at the uh, RBG displays, just the constant pulsating lights. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can. I got a different profile set up. I got one that helps me sleep. Pretty good. Whatever you want, I'm down. Just keep these lights. I got going. one. I got rave mode. You seem like you'd be into that. I, yeah, no, let's do the rave mode. Get that mm-hmm. energy up. Let's do it. It's like it's just like rainbow, just like very loud and yep. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. There's you didn't know it, but your rig actually has like laser emitters and a fog machine, right? Oh my God. <laughs> Look, or a sure. mist machine. I think a, a lot of people. Machine. I think a lot of people underestimate how much joy having a fog machine for your own personal use can bring to your life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you're you're all sitting there, kind of, you know. Uh, 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 El Rain, you're like thumbing through all this stuff, and you hear this in this in the room smells of that like if you, you know like fog machines have that like kind of weird sweet mm-hmm. it's like sweet yeah yeah <laughs> and then, like it like all of a sudden it's actually this, vape juice it smells yeah. this organic <laughs> this, this, flavor this this cloud <laughs> drifts into your vision and then like laser starts dancing across your page it's harder to read now but I was gonna yeah <laughs> she's probably gonna like. Do you, do you have like any kind of so you have like a huge desk or whatever? Do you have any kind of like bigger furniture anywhere in there's here? There's a desk and there's a bed. There's this she jumps giant, on giant and there's crate. a giant case. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to jump on the case, but she'll jump on the bed and just go, "It's a bomb! It's a bomb! It's a bomb! It's a bomb!" and start like freaking out about it. Look, listen. If the man is on his way, I got to break this thing down. I got to bring the rig with, and that takes several minutes. This is state of the I art. Th- it can it can compact down. I can bring it with me. But I think it's I think you better start. You better start doing that. And what he and Flask is just playing with the smoke, making like hand movements in the smoke, just kind of like wafting it in his face, wafting it out, just kind of going back and forth with the smoke. <laughs> just, yeah, do it, doing the hand follow shit, the hand dance that they yeah. do. <laughs> Exactly. He's like karate chopping the air and making an X and then like whirling it around. <laughs> so good. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to have to downsize the battle station. You know, I'm gonna yeah. have to put it into mobile mode. Yeah, yeah. So you you engage mobile mode, and um, the the monitors dim right, and they uh, they move themselves to face the wall so they don't get dust and things on them while you're away. And this like, like you you see this like uh uh this like seal break and like this cold like crystal cold smoke comes pouring out of a new a new opening in your in your rig and this like little this little thing produces a handle and you like you can take it out keep your vr shit on and all Mm -hmm. that power is here i'd wear like a fanny pack (laughs) <laughs> yeah it doesn't have the sweet surround sound fog machine and monitor setup still got the rgb lights though. but it still has rgb lights <laughs> and i you know i pull out my little pull out you my rig the, and be you like, got the flyest fanny that ever existed <laughs> and then pull out pull out my my sick custom vape mod and yeah. take a huge and be like i don't worry i got the fog <laughs> fully charged um i'll say that uh El Rain has found a section of the PDF that is titled what to do when your team lead doesn't respond to you. Yeah. And it gives like a 1-800 number to call. And so on her. More like archaic communications that are now untraceable, like old POTS (laughs) phone lines. Yeah. (laughs) And you remember, you remember there is like you. It took you forever to even understand what it was, but there is there is a phone in like a like a rectangular box in a wall that you could walk up to. It's another la- level down, but you remember there is a place where I could like pick up a receiver, mash some numbers, and call a place. Um, like actually make a phone call instead of you know, whatever the modern uh, communication equivalent is that is highly traceable. This like untraceable phone thing does exist. Uh, and it's one level lower. Okay. She's, if you're going to, if you're going to go use the crust phone, you got to type in first star six, nine. Untraceable. That makes it really. <laughs> yeah. That's what I heard on the deep web. Okay. Okay. And she's going to like kind of try to keep looking through the PDF to check, double check that, but is totally believing <laughs> actually, that. Actually it does it, in the PDF. It does affirm what he says. Like when making that call, make sure you go star six, nine, and then the 800 number. <laughs> My God, you did read it. And then she's going to dart out the door and go to the, to the phone. <laughs> he knew it from uh, the mere, webs. <laughs> you, you slash meerkat mania told me that one. Yeah. <laughs> On the old Animal Planet forums, it's good shit down there. Because the best secrets about Animal Planet are traded on the deep web. I think you mean <laughs> Meerkat Manor. Thank you very much. No, that was their, their username was Meerkat Mania. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> <laughs> that show was great. Okay, those meerkats are cute as fuck. <laughs> Good. They're so busy all the time. So, so yeah, you they do the, the same thing. You have the you have the location of a crust phone that will allow okay. you to make a a star sixty nine call to a to a to a number that you know only exists in this PDF. There is no other place this, that this number you know is listed. She Some is of the fabled white pages. <laughs> lost. I was able to find those. Yeah, those Jeez. those tomes are lost to time. <laughs> the last she one is, was uh, seen ripped apart by by Cyber Arnold Schwarzenegger to show oh that he could God. rip apart a phone book. But it was it was to tell young children not to use drugs. Right. <laughs> it was ripped apart for effect. I don't I don't yeah. know what that had to do with it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was. Yeah. Don't, don't do drugs. Don't do drugs and um and and, and obey our, our one true bit lord, um, whoever that is in the future. <laughs> yep. Jeff she is Bezos. Bezos. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I'll say she's like soccer mom fast walking to this yes. press phone. Awesome. Good. Um Are you going to trying to Yes. Okay. She just kinda went. Yeah. 
Um, Somebody's got to stay with the case. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you you're staying I'm... with the big black red pulsing case that is in your your um, rabbit hutch of a house or home. No. And uh, I'm gonna I'm grab sorry. a little tiny backpack and be like, "This is all the possessions I care about." And, and your and your your windows. fanny your fanny pack uh, slash hyper awesome deck is like pulsing this like purple blue red because it's still in rave mode, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like it's trying its damnedest to fill this fill this room with vibe, and it is it is <laughs> doing okay. Could be better. <laughs> Could be better. Yeah, a flask. The what cooling... is flask doing? Uh, while Flask always wants to be near this, um, he is going to probably go with Elrain um, yep. to this interesting device. Yep. Yeah, this fabled um, uh, phone. Uh, pay phone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, go ahead. I think uh, I think while they're gone, Ignite Trout is going to run a Dorito dust encrusted hand over the top of the case and be like, what secrets do you possess? <laughs> Can you help me defeat him? I'd like to make a systems roll to investigate this thing. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, finally. Okay, cool. So yeah, you, while well, they're both gone, <laughs> there's nobody to hang out with you. Uh, let's go ahead and do a system roll as you begin to investigate or maybe even hack this uh this box yeah i'm definitely plugging in all right cool jacking in oh what's up um hey gunmetal draws thanks for the follow guys this game so far is a is a riot we're loving it we're loving it man thank you so i'm much very sorry for what we're doing to your game it is no i'm pretty <laughs> sure this is intended <laughs> thanks for the follow man this is so great to have you here <laughs> all right um so i got one die Oh yeah. So okay. Now hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm gonna say that you're an expert in hacking, right? Okay, sweet. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you the prepared die because you got a state of the art rig. You've got a state of the art deck for hacking, and you've got an object here you need to hack. That's right. So I'm gonna give you three die here on this one. All right. The RGB changes, like <laughs> now that we're doing some hacking, and it goes into like like just green but it wants to do like the matrix thing and like oh, tries yeah. to project that onto the wall yeah. but it's not it's not plugged in it's it's in mobile mode so it's right. not quite <laughs> it's doing not quite it a right and the problem is it's 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 competing with this oppressive red glow that just keeps mm-hmm. washing out your like your like japanese kanji projection on the wall <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a bummer it's a bummer. um so uh my numbers, I rolled a five, a one, and a six. So two successes, and I crashed the system. Fuck, an A. Awesome. Okay. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and say that just on the success, you do find that this case hasn't actually made connection with anybody. It's not doing two-way mm-hmm. communication. You have discovered uh, through this, um, through this like hacking game that you're playing, that it is reaching out. It reaches out. Mm. It reaches out. It reaches out a thousand times a second. It reaches out, and it has yet to make any kind of contact. Okay. The nights. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the other thing that you know that you have figured out is that through this kind of crashing the system, there is another signal. That is that is you're getting like backscatter from it. You're getting like like ghosts of it coming into your domicile. It's it's it it must be coming from levels above, right? Chewing through all of that like like old iron and steel construct that's like holding up these giant towers underneath this sprawl that you live under. Um, and it must be coming from up there. But there's something up there that is on the same frequency. As this box, there is somebody looking for this box. They have not found it yet. Um, it's the man. And this box is also trying to get found. Maybe by them, maybe by somebody else. But you now know there's somebody else at play. Do I do I get to ask a question, right? Because I crashed the system. Yeah, yeah. So what is your question? These are the things you you learn from having two good successes in this moment. This is a thing that I really mm-hmm. wanted you guys to have early. So what is your question? Yeah. What is this thing? So, and I'm and I don't mind like breaking the seal or whatever because I'm sure just yeah. jacking into it is probably that's 
that's over. Yeah. No, <laughs> no. I'll, I'll give it to you straight up. Specimen containment scrawls across your screen. Ooh. Specimen. Same, yeah. same, and yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. big thing. So it ain't like, it's not some, or, you know, iguana. This is like, I don't know, something big is in here. A giraffe? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Night Trout's first instinct is that they found a way to give Hatsune Miku physical form. <laughs> <laughs> that's his first, that's his first thought. She's still around. She's still around. Okay. Well, she's eternal. She lives on the internet. Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, hold on. But hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> wait, wait. From vocaloid wait, to vocalord. Wait, that is wait, absolutely. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> vocaloid to vocalord. Yep. That's perfect. That, that needs to be the episode title. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> um yeah i i will i will tell you um that this is <laughs> oh my god chat is so good um so yeah you you know that this case is containing something um now you're not really sure but you're you, you, you've been with this thing for two weeks it has not, like, made a lot of sounds. Um, so, life support? Duh. Right? It's cryostasis. It's uh, advanced cryostasis. You know, there's not, like, a power supply humming along. So, who, who, who knows? Right? Mm. Um, so, there's some, there's, there's, there's some things about this that just aren't quite adding up. Specimen containment, but there's no, like, breather. Right, there's no like pump, cryo pump that you're hearing, doing its like mm. coolant flush. I don't know, man. It's weird. Could be anything. Yeah, could be. So yeah, oh, this series. So let's catch up with our other two, um, Flask and El Rain. You you both booked it out of there, right? You got out of the rave scene, which was. Um, <laughs> Night Shroud's uh, domicile, and you're thank you. These... That's how you're, you have to say it that way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you're on these you're on these like dark, wet streets um, in the in the sprawl, and you're you're going down. Yeah. You're you're climbing down some ladders, and and you get onto this material you have not you don't normally walk on. It's like this this like like old cement concrete. It's like it's like broken apart over over the ages. You can see where like some plants tried to bust their way through and have died since there's no light down here really um there's there's some there's some like overhead light some industrial type lighting that kind of flickers on now that there's people down here um you two down here these lights kind of flicker on and be like oh well there's somebody down here let's let's light up this place a little bit and you can see your your crust phone um just down the way it's um it's built into the side of an old bank that has been abandoned for decades at this point uh, maybe even longer and you can you can see it there um it's this like old blue and white sign that isn't lit up right now but just from the ambient lighting around you can you can tell that it used to be you know uh probably looked very very uh futuristic at the day that it was installed uh, so <laughs> so yeah um, um yeah I think uh, on the way down, because is it cooler out here than it was in the apartment? I'm sure a big <laughs> mega machine makes that apartment real stuffy. And so, is it cooler outside, or is it extra stuffy because it's like concrete and like yeah? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that like because it's like uh, dark and wet, it just like it all just sticks. You know, your your, okay. your clothing, <laughs> it just it just doesn't feel good. Um, because this is so, dystopian cyberpunk future, and you're not allowed to be comfortable here, yeah. so everything just kind of sucks. So what Flask is going to do yeah. is, as they're like running down the hall or whatever, he's just going to put his arms back, his chest out, and his head up a little bit, just to get that breeze as he's running. <laughs> Maybe close his eyes for a couple seconds as he's as he's running. He's he's just enjoying the the, the little breeze yeah. that happens when you get to run. Yeah, yeah. No, you you give it a run and like. 
as you're going, you know, you, you finish that um, sprint, right? And the thing about like a short sprint is that, like all of the exertion catches up to you afterwards, right? And since you're in this like high humidity area, the sweat never leaves. And like though you had this moment of like peace and serenity, you are now punished by more sweat and just grossness um, now that you've reached the, the phone. The old, old, old payphone. Um, and you can see this payphone. Um, uh, I don't know if any of you have ever messed with a payphone, but there's usually like a little coin box down at the bottom. That box is gone. Um, somebody has long since ripped that out and stolen the uh, a little bit of zinc that it was in there, used it for something cool. But um, what is littered around the phone are old coins. Um, and so it would not be too tough for you to just grab one of these coins uh, and run it through the machine and light it up huh? um glass will pick up the rest of the coins after whatever uh low rain needs he'll pick up the rest of the coins and put them in one of his many pockets yeah yeah definitely yeah. Your, your, your trench coat of many pockets is it, it find it finds the right home for you so that later on when you go to look for coinage it, it is present for you <laughs> yeah l rain just uh soccer mom booked it thinking that this the soccer mom fast walk is is um like blending in mm -hmm. but it's very much not <laughs> yeah um, it's great it's too, the two of you are alone there's nobody else yeah because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's also the very like overdone not just like the casual like trying to watch their kid play it's the this is my exercise for the day kind of soccer oh, yeah. mom fast walk. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very like big motion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. The, um, the, 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 yes. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I've got to mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. orange slices small. from point A to B. Yeah. I've got to mm -hmm. get them there. Yeah. Like, like it's at that point, just run, but she won't. It's, so, it's almost like you can tell that like, I need to speak with the manager is like, is like already coming. Like it's already God. happening. <laughs> Did I make a cyber Karen? No, you did not. No, you did not. I'm talking about you. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, Great concept, cyber Karen. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> Final boss. Final boss now. I think um, I think that's what our AI companion sounds like. Yeah. Oh my yes. god. Yes, MK should be a cyber Karen. Yes, MK is a cyber Karen. That is that is M weird. MK is Miss Miss Karen. Miss Karen. That's what it is. <laughs> We found it. Da, da, da. Um, she's, she's involved in multi-level marketing, so it's it all it all comes it in. all wraps it all comes this in together. All coming together, holy shit! Um, but yeah, so she'll get there and um, you know be on page two hundred forty-eight of the PDF where that has the number. Okay, and yep. Yep. Um, she weirdly has probably used one of these before where i don't know but she knows how to use it yep. um and uh yeah it's just gonna dial that number and see what she gets yeah you make the phone call untraceable by dialing star six nine right that's right the star six nine first i forgot yeah. and then that's... and then you uh, uh bang in that 800 number uh for uh -huh. the the raptor helpline mm -hmm. and at first you hear this like um i'm gonna steal something from chat you hear this um it's like screaming at you in this like wild, wild, like garbage just comes like back at you. Um, and then like it pauses and then you hear this bah! <laughs> back in the line as it's like, it's just too loud. Coming it's... in your ear. Give me a, give me a system. Give me a system check. Okay. Is it? One, two, one. Oh one. yeah. Um, I'm gonna say that. Okay, corporate drone. I'm gonna give you two because okay. of of the corporate drone type stuff that you got going on here. Your role. Mm -hmm. Used to getting yelled at on the phone. You're used to getting yelled at on the phone. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I'm gonna give you two. She just she just thinks that this is like a weird language that she can't interpret. Mm -hmm. The screaming is not the problem. <laughs> right. It's just I can't I can't decipher it. I yep. can't. I don't know what they're trying <laughs> yeah. to say. What are they saying? Yes. Oh, I got a one and a six. Beautiful. Uh, awesome. Awesome. So you got one success. Yeah. Like there's no there's no way you didn't get a success with a one and a six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yay. Okay. Cool. Uh. So. Yeah, you, it, the, the, the line goes dead, but right as the line goes dead, you realize, oh, I called a fax machine. 
Rookie mistake. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Uh, <laughs> fax machine. Is there another? Uh, well, uh, eh, uh, yeah. Just kind of goes straight face for a second. Yeah, yeah, so I'm going to say, like, as a corporate drone, you know, maybe you even have a fax machine, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh, like, you uh -huh. know this tech. You just got to, like, use it to call that number, right? And all you got to do is write your question on a piece of paper or something like that and fax it to that number. And, uh -huh. you know, they will, you know, look at it and be able to do something with that. You know, maybe even fax you back. Gotcha. This is this is where it's now the player error because I've never used it. I hear you. I hear you. My apologies. My apologies. My apologies. As as a my work, as the, my, work as the, does. my work uses a fax machine, yeah, so I should yeah, know. But yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Well, tell you what, uh, Gavin. Will you uh with Flask here? You, the two of you are in this moment of like, oh shit, we need a fax machine. This is shaping up to be an episode of Cowboy Bebop this where is, they need a beta max player. This is, this is exactly it. <laughs> it's perfect. Flask, you know, the thing about fax machines is they are really old and some of them get kind of small. Will you please roll a crash for me to see if you just yeah. have one in your pocket, in your yeah. trench coat of, of many in my trench wondrous coat of items? <laughs> so uh, I think oh, while, he while he's looking... Um, He's going to be like, do you, can I, do you need me to talk to someone? Like, is there anyone on that end? I just hear a lot of screaming. Wow. Yes. I can roll the one. The one thing I can't do is I roll the one. Um, well, you, you, you get two dice because you have the item. You are prepared. Oh, two dice? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You are prepared cool. because you have an item that gives you a little extra. So rolling Five. the die. So one success. Five. So one success. Awesome. Nice. So, so you succeed, but there's a wrinkle, right? Um, so Yeah. You actually have a micro fax machine um, that, you know, just, you just, it has a little microphone and a speaker and it can scream into any phone that you need it to, right? It's one of those like super mm -hmm. cool uh, things. But the, the problem is that you don't have the, um, maybe the ticker tape that it needs. There's some, there's some extra thing here about it that, that just doesn't work. Um, so you're going to have to, you're going to have to kind of overcome that if you're going to use this fax machine in this moment um because you've got this like this it's like a pocket fax machine which is awesome but in your search you did not also find the pocket reel of tape that it needs in order mm. to like you know you scroll your message on the tape and feed it into the thing that you don't have that so how i imagine it is this he's like like trying to like listen to these loud like aol screeches he's yeah. like looking all over his jacket he has no idea what he's looking for but he kind of likes feeling the fabric on the inside um, he pulls this oh, thing yeah, out. He's still like rolling hard, right? So he's yeah. Like, oh yeah. He's like he's like he's like he's like halfway like sensorial, just 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 enjoying himself with just like yeah. <laughs> feeling his, the, the silk the inside mode. these pockets. <laughs> somebody, yeah. some, somebody needs to remind him to unclench his jaw and drink some water, <laughs> please. <laughs> For sure, he's clenching his jaw. Um, and. <laughs> So he feeling that for the next three days. <laughs> and he sees that it kind of like fits on the bottom. And what he does is he's like trying to like like force it, not force it, but like, oh, this should click on, right? Yeah. And he's just gonna kind of keep kind of hitting the bumps of them, just trying to like force them together. And he's probably gonna do that until L Rain stops them. He's just gonna keep going back and forth. Sure, yeah. L Rain, you see you see that uh, Flask has kind of entered a trance. And is in this like repetitive motion moment, and it seems like he's not really un displeased. He's just no. He's just you're just kind of watching. Like, is there anything more? You're holding this thing, but you haven't. Uh, okay, and so now you have a a micro fax machine in your hand, and Flask is, um, in Flaskland. In <laughs> Flaskland, and I need I need. The paper, right? Yeah, is that what you're yeah. Saying? So like, the, so like, fax machines. You normally like write on a piece of paper or, or type or whatever, and then you like mm -hmm. feed it into the machine, and it sends mm -hmm. it on to the destination, and they get like a printout. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. you did, right? Well, this microfax you have just doesn't have doesn't have any paper, right? Uh, maybe give me a let's do one more uh, system roll, right? Okay. 
as you're kind of looking at this, and I'll give you two dice again because, again, the corporate drone, you you know the whole fax machine tech thing, and you're kind of looking at the scene like, I don't know, maybe I could still make this work. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe that's maybe that's Elraine's quirky hobby is like old office supply tech. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Earlier I mean, when you were asking what kind of uh, what kind of paper the PDF was printed on, I was going to say maybe that was her hobby. You know how you can like take old jeans and make paper out of it? Oh. Did y'all not know that you can do? I did not know that that you could make paper out of jeans, but that's pretty awesome. You can, (laughs) you can. Uh, But also, I mean, I do have. It's a canon now. I do have a five hundred sheet PDF. That's true. In my hands, Uh, a a five, a five and a one. Okay, all right. So uh, one success. So all right. So still the one. Um, So I'm going to give you that. uh, You're looking this thing. You could probably rip up your precious printout of PDF and make it work. Or you could go into this bank that has been abandoned for a long time, and they probably have some old, like, adding machine spools of tape paper in here. You know, they probably have some, like, junk in there that you could use to Mm. get this fax machine going. I say Elrain is while Flask is in Flask land. Yeah. Elrain probably has a moment herself where she's just kind of like panic, 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 like music build type scenario, and then just looks at her PDF and goes, Oh God. And like is about to like rip it. Just like, huh? She's like, No, I can't. And like then thinks about the bank and then is like Okay, and then just we'll like run in there and try to like find something with it. Awesome. But yeah. she had a I can't. That's like I mean This is the binder. Yeah, That's the binder. binder. Yeah. yeah. Can you rip up the the, the Raptor hand uh, employee handbook? So you go into the bank. Um mm-hmm. I'm not gonna we won't have to roll about it in here because you're you're gonna search around and all that kind of stuff and you're gonna eventually find like an old like hand crank adding machine that has mm-hmm. the thermal paper and it's going to work in this fax machine. You've 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 done it. You have found something that will work in this fax machine. And you Hell scroll yeah. your question to Raptor Helpline. What is your question? <laughs> um Chat is lighting up with items. <laughs> chat is awesome. on fire right now. I love this chat. <laughs> um just what 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 to do when the box starts to glow i don't uh yeah, right. just yeah yeah when, what do when we you, do when, when... <laughs> how i like I, I like the idea you've got this long t- ticker tape right and you and you like have written what four times right <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I I write the way I talk. Yeah, that's straight up how she does it. What straight up? When when, when the when, when, when you, the when, when the help. box when when you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you scroll out like it sounds like you're gonna ask, what do we do with this glowing box? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. But the end the end just says, please help. Please help. And then yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So, unfortunately, because we have not rolled a well, we we were not able to ha- have a two way conversation. You have to submit your question in writing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have it reviewed by a panel somewhere, and mm-hmm, then they mm-hmm, might mm-hmm. send back a response. Um, yeah. So, yeah. You you go back. You hook up the stuff. You you throw the quarters through the the payphone. They they fall out the bottom of the mm. the missing coin box they just fall on the ground in front of you mm-hmm. um, and unlimited and, phone calls yeah unlimited phone <laughs> calls um and you you reconnect with that line and you have your fax machine there and and, and you hear now the screaming is different right They're like oh. bah, bah, and then like both of them start screaming at each other and all of a sudden this ticker tape that you have just flies through the machine and and it's okay 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 Cool, 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 cool. That's why it was computer language. That's why I didn't. Yeah, and there's this, there's it. like this long pause, and then the two machines are screaming at each other again in this like terrible, terrible symphony of sound, um, and there is a message received back on the fax machine. Great. 
and try not uh, to drop it. And hold yeah, it. and 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 like there's this moment of like the all of you are looking at this and flash. You're finally out of your sensorial land, um, and and you you remember. Oh, I got to put paper in the machine. So you take your ticker and you feed it back into the machine so it can like print out the answer, right? And so it like gives you this hand scrawled thing. Um, and Raptor help uh, says, um, says, says two things. Says one, um, recommend moving locations, swapping locations um, with the box. And two, what is your new location? We will send help. Great. Backup. Good. She's she's just gonna like look at Flask and be like, like just breathe. And she's gonna do like a really rapid breathing exercise, so kind of like where it's supposed to be slow. Yes, exactly. So it's not slow at all. Yeah. Um. Make so not as alkaline. not as effective as that. Somehow it doesn't work in that way, but it's that same speed. Yeah. Um, of just panicked breathing. Sweet. Um. But yeah. Yeah, so Flask would pick up those coins that just fell out, put them back in his pocket. Yeah. But different pockets. These are different coins. Yeah. He's going different pockets. Sweet. Um, I, I like the idea that you, yeah. you just have like little tiny micro pockets that are like, mm. you know, two mm-hmm. or three coins yeah. large. <laughs> it's like, that's mm-hmm. where those go. Yeah. And like each one has like a little coin like pocket. Mm-hmm. Um, and he will be like, all right, so should we go get this device? What? I. I'm feeling the device wants to be found. I think we all want to be found. Let's move this device. Let's move it. Let's move it. Yes. Uh, and that. she's going to... Oh, yeah. She's going to like try to look in the PDF if there's anything about moving a device. Probably not. <laughs> but um, that's just their only source of hope. No, and... there, there, is a, there is like five pages on what to do with a body. Um, but not <laughs> yep. on a mystery device. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Straight up. All right, so you guys get back. Wow. You get back to. Um, <laughs> you get back to uh, uh, Night Shroud's uh, place of. <laughs> <Perfect. Exactly. laughs> uh, and Night Shroud, you're you're kind of done. Um, you're you're just now getting out of the thing. You have a pretty good sense of of how far this box can reach with its with its communications. Um, you've you've had some time to study this while they were off doing their fax machine uh, escapades. You've, you've, you've had a moment to sit with this box and, and truly understand what it can do from that, that perspective. Yeah. I've distilled the network lattice. Yes. We have a, we have a green zone approximately 50 meters. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, Flask is... Did you say that to the group? Yeah. Flask is going to nod his head like very... Mm. Got it. And then lean over to Elrond and go, what, what does that mean? What does that mean? You Jeez. got it. The lattice, 50 meters, right? Let's do yeah. this. Yep. The man. Yeah. The man wants it. Mm. Well, it, it wants to be found. So There's a non-zero chance this is a waifu. But real. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, how <laughs> heavy is this device? I mean, it's on wheels, so probably very. Yeah, it's on it's on it's on heavy duty casters. It's probably um, uh, let's just call it like a ton. Okay. Okay. Well, passionate action will not be able to lift this device. <laughs> so never mind. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> distressed mothers lift cars every right. day. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But and 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 you also... in in distress could absolutely tilt this off of your baby, um, but <laughs> you could not heft it anywhere <laughs> and i'd also lose probably all muscle function in the rest of my body but yeah. let's keep going i mean it's... when you're rolling you can do things that would have been the mind <laughs> at least you think you that, do <laughs> that's another pocket if we need to do this i have another pocket for that that's the that's the pcp pocket <laughs> <laughs> yep oh my God. yes um l rain's probably like super focused on now needing to move it. So she's just kind of like, we have to move the box and is going to go up to it. And then like halfway through going to touch it, realize that at least she hasn't seen anybody touch it yet. 
and doesn't know if that's a good idea, but is in the process of moving towards it. So like just kind of taps it and then makes a god awful like like type noise. <laughs> like it actually shocked uh, you, but you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, you, and then just kind of you, were, you were unharmed by the box when you touch it, but uh, but oh, definitely yeah. your own fear makes mm. you feel pain. You know, just yeah. your own panic of, of yeah of the situation. Yeah, yeah. I think we can roll this down the hall. If we go up, it's where the man is. Where are we going? Down. Is the man bad? Oh yeah, yeah. The man's real bad. You both this man? His omnipotent his omnipotent gaze has not pierced my sanctum yet. <laughs> now, nah, just the man is too orderly. He's just he he just likes to confine things, but he doesn't get it. All right? Combine, so we got to get away from him. Divides, oppresses. But he's several yeah. levels up, so we got time. Do the PDF says anything about this? No. Oh, then, the PDF. I know for a fact the PDF has 60 pages at least on the man. It does. <laughs> it does talk extensively about its mission against the man. Uh, and okay. Spe- and specifically against um, uh, corporations such as Goog and the party um, and wizards. Um, it really hates wizards of the body of water. And so... Um, <laughs> So <laughs> my brain is trying to connect all of these. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Um, she's just gonna like have a moment of if if there's 60 pages that she she didn't know was in there about the man, she feels like such a failure right now. No, no, look, no, look, no. Look. Definitely, you Cryptid. you have gone through and like proofed those pages, submitted notes. Yeah. They've gone through and done the corrections for those. Those edits, <laughs> you know, like that's how you got your murder pen, right? You made the document more more perfect. Uh, I hate myself. I hate myself. I love this. <laughs> you I made the binder. Oh, oh, she she straight up made the PDF. They it probably <laughs> when she when she got it, it was like two pages. It's now five hundred. She made the PDF. <laughs> the PDF straight was, up was literally the crash assistant PDF I'm looking at right now. And she went mm-hmm. up and made it 200 pages. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. So she probably wrote this bit yeah. or at least like did a first draft, but is still like, oh, oh, so there's just too much. There's too much information. It's, you know, she's only one, one woman. Yeah. Um, so is, she has a pen, but that's, you know, that's about it. I know. I understand um, being, being a corporate stiff, you got to turn the old brain pan off. 40 hours a week, maybe, if you're lucky. Um, after after kind of putting together these things and seeing that someone touched it and didn't get hurt, um, uh, Plas is going to get right on this thing, cheek to cheek, hand to hand over different areas, <laughs> and just sense it out. Is just, there whoa, whoa, anything whoa, 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 coming man. from it? Whoa, man. We don't know. what That could be inappropriate. I, we don't know. This thing gets... Handle I, with hair. I, this thing gets it. I'm just getting this gets it. This gets it. Oh yeah, that's right. Your mission is to get it. <laughs> this gets it. Oh my, mission, yeah, my mission is to just get it. Just, just get it. Just get it. Just get it. <laughs> just get it. And this is this is just giving me JGI vibes. This is JGI vibes. <laughs> I like how I like how get it can be understand, but I feel like now get it is like just get it. <laughs> just, just get yeah, it. That's what I meant. Yeah, just get, just get I it. Just get, get it. it. I just get it. Yeah. Just I will go for it. <laughs> I will say Elraine is now um like Ross in that one episode of Friends with the pivot. Um she is she's letting y'all wheel it, but she's just like shouting instructions of just like Sweet. turn mm-hmm. left, turn right, down, up, like just yep. only only So you're you guys are mobile. Uh let's do um let's do a crash. Let's do a crashing roll. Um, any of, any of you can lead this role. Any of you can assist this role. Um, I think that you will lead. You're going to lead. Okay, good. I'm going to say that yeah, you are, is... you're an expert in this, right? Because, mm-hmm. uh, you are an investigator. This is your area, right? This is the place that you live. So you're prepared, right? You're prepared. You're an expert. I'm going to give you three dice. 
on this. Ooh. Um, as you guys nice. are navigating these under tunnels of the sprawl and you're trying to get this box to a secondary location. Right. Uh, now, when we picked our thing, we did not pick safe house. So we don't mm-hmm. have one of those ready. <laughs> Damn. We, have, crust phone. We, have a, we have a crust phone and we have a really friendly AI. <laughs> That's what we got. <laughs> um, and so, uh, so yeah, you are, uh, you can roll some dice, but you too could also assist um, in, mm. in night shrouds. Um, I'll give it a, I'll give it a shot. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I use, go up. Do you want to use system or crash to assist him? Uh, I think I'm keeping this thing. I'm using, I'm, I'm jacked in and yeah. I'm keeping it, keeping it stable. Okay. And like maybe trying to even like tight that tighten that signal a little bit. Got it. So it's not quite so good at reaching out. I like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so go ahead and give me a system. I'm gonna go ahead and give you three on that one as well. Because you have prepared with this thing, you're an expert in this field. Yeah. My my fanny pack wears to life. Yeah. <laughs> Your disco fanny so, pack is going. <laughs> I rolled a one, a two, and a four. A two is my number. And a four is a success. Ooh. So it is a success and a crash the system. And a crash. Okay, sweet. Yeah. All right, good. So we're we're gonna we're gonna resolve that in a second. I rolled two fives, which is my number. <laughs> and a three. Sweet. <laughs> so that's three successes. Sweet. Two system crashes. Sweet. Yeah, all right, good. Um and then uh so you are directing this crew as well. I wanna give yep. you a um, I think a crash as well. Check. Okay. Um, to well, hmm, maybe maybe a system, because okay. you are you're directing them and you're trying to get them where they need to be, right? Mm-hmm. You're the one who mm-hmm. knows the destination. Oh yeah. Okay. So go ahead and give me a system roll. Uh, there. Two, uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. One. Um. Oh, definitely. Let's see here. I think two at least, because you are prepared at this point. You knew what you had to do, mm-hmm. right? Um, I don't know if step you're an steps, expert in, in – well, corporate drone, you're an expert in managing people. Mm. I'll give you that. Shift lead. Shift lead. Shift lead. Shift lead. Shift lead. Shift a three. I <laughs> am not – I'm not the shift lead, but You've seen it done I've many watched times. closely. <laughs> yeah. Watched closely. I think I've – I'm right at the point – I have just enough confidence to <gasps> – Okay, and then two ones, so uh, my no. Apologies. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, all good, all good. Um, so you guys are going, and um, Ethan, your character, um, Night Shroud, you are you. running, you're keeping this box tight, and you're, you've are you got some, some inspirations coming, absolutely. Um, and Flask, you have been, you have been like drifting this box. Yeah. Like you're not just like mm-hmm. moving it. You're like, you know, kicking it out, making it drift around yeah. corners. You're, you're, you're moving this box with haste, right? Everybody queue up Tokyo Drift. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to give you guys the bennies before, before I hit you with the, with the, the results of, of um, uh, El Rain's efforts. So let's start with let's start with you, Flask. Um, okay. You had a success and a crash the system, right? Yep. Okay, cool. So yeah, the success is you've got this thing skipping around corners. You are moving with purpose and haste, and uh, there were like obstacles in the way that you preemptively overcame. Do you have any questions for me? That we that could be a part of this crash the system mechanic where I could give you insights into what's really going on here or the truth about this box yeah. or the world around you to help you get it, yeah. whatever it is uh, and whatever getting yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> a part of me just wants to ask, does it get it? And, or will it help me get it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so, you're doing this and like there's this part of you we'll call this sunk cost fallacy where you have put so much effort into this you know <laughs> it will get it it will give you the it whatever it is what is in this box is absolutely it it's everything and you have just by just by moving around you've you've noticed that 
that there's something in here that does shift. The weight on it shifts just a little bit. And whatever's in there is is important and 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 wonderful. And you know that it's it's going to be it's going to be integral to your future. That is exactly what I wanted to know. And a, a sense of relief kind of falls over of like I'm getting there. Yeah. Over Flask's face as he's pushing and drifting this yeah. thing around, kicking his say, legs up against walls. I'm going to say that that Flask, you have this moment of inspiration of like Man, why am I denying myself what's in here? Right? You have that thought as you're like careening down this this alleyway and all that kind of stuff. Let's go with you, Night Trout. Yeah. Yeah. You had you had you had, you had two two system crashes and, and a success. success. So that's three. Uh that uh, that goes into as three successes. Uh you critically critically succeed, um which is phenomenal. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll give you the critical success first, and then you can ask your two questions. Um, Sweet. So first things first, this box, you are able to convince it to stop trying to be found. The light turns off. It stops scanning. Yes. Right? Also, mm-hmm. not only do you know that the man, two levels up, coming down a level now, is out there scanning, but you detect a third signal source, a microburst on the same frequency, very, very short, trying not to get discovered. But that third success, you sniff out, there's a third. You're one entity. The man is a second entity. And there's someone else down here who's looking for this box. First question, friend or foe? Cool. Um, on that question, uh, you know, the only people out there with that kind of tech to do a microburst like that, they're going to be an elite hacker. They're going to be one of the best. Damn it. Not today. <laughs> Not today. All right. Second question. Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. So you're down here in the old city, right? This is the actual concrete of old sprawl, right? Everything above mm-hmm. you is new nanotech shit. This is all the old dirt and concrete. He is in an old train station. You're actually... You're actually coming up to it right now. Because unfortunately, the directions that you all have been following on two on a no success roll is towards an old abandoned train station mm-hmm. that would have been a perfect hideout were it not already occupied by the city's greatest hacker and his crew. I pull out my papaya phone. <laughs> <laughs> And I got my taser case on the outside. Yeah. And I pull the little retractable power cord out of the taser case and I plug it in the charging socket. Yeah. Burner phone just drains. Yes. And I'm like, I'm going to make that man piss his pants. Like, As you guys. Make sure, you know, make sure my fingerless gloves are tight. Yep. Put some dust off. Yeah. Ready to go. L- Lorraine sees this and she's just like, What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? He's in there. He's in there. As you're asking this question, you guys have have stopped outside this train station. You've been guiding them towards this big open place you could go to, to like hunker down. You know that this has been abandoned for a long time. And there's two guys in trench coats walking towards you right now from that train station. These look like toughs. These look like guys with guns, right? They're, they're, they're not, they're not the man he's worried about. But um, they spotted you and they're Flask, walking towards you. Oh, we've does been Flask get the vibes that they are going to stop him from getting there. Thousand percent. Okay, so Flash is going to go. Flash is going to get up from feeling out the spot, really getting <laughs> close to getting it. it. <laughs> and he just and he's a tall guy. I imagine he's like a really, you know, he's probably like six six, sure. maybe like three twenty, right? Yeah. Yeah, big. Um, big and dude. he's gonna, big dude. And he's just gonna get up 
kind of fluff his coat off a little bit and then kind of go to the head of the, our little train that we have now. Sweet. Taking point. I like it. Yeah. I like point. it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I kind of know what, uh, what Night Shroud is up to getting his, getting his stuff prepped. Um, mm -hmm. L rain, you've got these two toughs coming your way. They look like thugs, right? They look like they've probably hurt some people, right? Um, and as they kind of step into the light, you recognize one of them. It's old Puck. Puck is a Shylock. And he's a guy who collects on debts. And he looks at you guys and goes, Oh, all right, all right, all right. You know, I was out here on some milk run, but uh, I've been looking for you three. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, man. My boss needs that money back bad. Real bad. I guess you, I guess you came by to drop something off. Just give it to me, huh? Yeah? Make that trade super easy. Debt's cleared with something like that. My beef is not with you, Neanderthal. Higher Neanderthal, minds. That's a big word higher, for a little man. Higher minds. <laughs> higher minds have fights today. Did he just call me stupid? Yeah, man, I think he just called you stupid. Uh, and uh, he goes to pull out his gun. Oh, man. Blast is going to be like, it. okay, everybody. <laughs> okay, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. So let's do let's do some contest. That's rounds. how I that's how yeah. I can combat. Yeah, I can, yeah. I can, yeah. You can hack. You can hack. Yeah. Okay. Hack is, so hack is smart link. So these two guys, these two guys are gonna try and kill you, uh, and they're going <laughs> to uh, either kill you or collect debts, right? And right now it seems like killing you is is the answer, because uh, mm -hmm. he asked you for the case, you said no, <laughs> yeah. and so. There it is. And you called him stupid. So he's got to, right? It's like, that's, this is, that's his pathway to, to victory. It's like, mm -hmm. threaten them with violence to get the thing. Oh, they called me stupid. I guess now it's violence. Good. Is it possible that um, to intervene, to just get in front of everybody and say, hey, everybody, let's take a smoke break? And he pulls out a pack of cigs. Totally. Give me a crashing. This is this is pure crashing. Just trying to like insert yourself with with this like emotional intelligence. Like I have a moment to strike here to get these yeah. people to like just sit down with me and roll real quick. Because you don't pull out a pack yeah. of cigarettes. You pull out your investigator juice. <laughs> My detective mode. Yeah, a little bit detect of detective you just, mode. You pull out the detective mode. That's right. <laughs> okay. Talk about, talk about opening some doors yeah. into some deep conversations. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Let's let's all roll. Give each other back. We're gonna back understand rubs. each other. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get that, get deep. So, give me a crash and roll. I'm gonna say that you are prepared for this because you have okay. your investigator juice or investigator mode. Um, you are. Um, let's see here. Get a second. I, I probably have come across these guys before, like people like this, you know, as being an investigator, come across low life. Well, you thugs, owe maybe. money to this guy's boss. Absolutely. Yeah. You owe money to Puck's boss, big time. You probably have seen Puck before, right? As he tossed your place mm -hmm. to remind you that you owe him money. Right. Yeah. So you know this guy. So yeah. I'll go ahead and give you three dice. You're, you're, three dice? you're an okay. expert. You're prepared. Sure. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, I got three successes. <laughs> Holy shit! Yes. And so what? 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 So he's gonna get. If if I can describe what I have in my head, David, yeah. and you can take it from there. Love it. Love it. He's gonna open up his jacket real slow. He's gonna say, "Look," and he's gonna pull out a little bag, and it's gonna say "networking" on it. And it's just a. It's just a couple little objects. Maybe they're a little white, a little rolled up, right? Yep. And it just him, says "networking." And it look like a postage stamp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And he's just going to be like, why don't we take one of these and let's talk about it. How, how's that sound? Puck, Puck, Puck gives you like the old stink eye. And he kind of glances at the bag. He's like, is that what I think it is? Man, I haven't trust seen me. that in a long time. Yeah. You can hand that relationships, over? Relationships. Yeah, relationships grow on trust, but I got to keep one for myself. We can, we, can, we can take a break from all this for some of that. Sure. Yeah, sure. right, right. And then he'll look over at night shroud and be like we good to sit down for a little bit 
I, I got, I got business. We can handle your business. <laughs> Higher minds. I got business, but enjoy. Okay. Uh, are you sure? Gotta, you can. Got to keep can, the mind. Got to keep the mind sharp. I take three months between. All right. This makes you we feel real got, sharp. We still got three weeks. All right. I don't want to melt my brain. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You mean, you mean, you mean, old night shroud over here is not going to be partaking? That's no for me. nitro. That's pretty good. I like that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's like it's worried. Be like, oh, nitro leaving. Uh, and he's like, nothing more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You for sure. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so uh, and then he'll keep a couple for himself, and then hand them over the bags. And he has his lighter out, lights his up, right? Yeah. Being like, hey, everything cool? We're all good here. Yeah. So you and you and Puck have a have a kind of a moment here. Right. You've got this case. It's been it's been on your mind. Right. Yeah. And he man, he is uh, he's a tough guy. But deep down, he's a he's a fractured soul. He has to do hard yeah. work every day, stuff that's unpleasant, you know, and there's a part of him that doesn't like it. There's a big part of him that does like it. But there's some yeah. aspect of him that doesn't enjoy that aspect of his job. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and you guys have this like just just sesh you know mm-hmm. um and so yeah puck is puck is out of the situation i'm gonna say that um that flask you have him kind of tied up for a little while okay. while um while uh el rain and night trout you guys are kind of free to do some stuff for a minute uh el rain was just heavy rapid breathing pacing <laughs> or in circles around the thing just hasn't stopped circling it the whole time. Yes. The Flask, whole time. Flask would offer her whatever he's got. Sure. A little set. Just a couple. A little calm down. Yeah. She maybe, maybe even a, a smoke of this. <laughs> she probably doesn't even acknowledge. Just like, we got to move the box. We got to move the box. The, the fax machine said we got to move the box. We got to move it. it. I'm working on it. She's just going to. It's an L ring. That station is perfect. But there is a jackass in there. <laughs> a harem stealing jackass, okay? We just gotta take care of him. All right? Oh you got my back on this? There's the man. Even worse than that. This guy. So so if we take him if we take him out, then then we can move the box and we're fine? Oh yeah. She's gonna like quickly take out her baton and go <laughs> be like Okay. All right. You just hey, listen. If he's got any cronies, that's all you. He's mine. He's mine. I got. I'll do a little, like do a little little thing like make him piss his pants. <laughs> mhm. And then she's gonna like follow behind, and as she's following behind, just practicing swipes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just right, like elbows in. Elbows in. Yep. <laughs> oh, I heard that once. <laughs> You guys go into the train station. You guys go into the train station, um, and as you as you come into this train station, the two of you, um, there uh, <laughs> there's like the rail yard control deck thing, and it's all lit up, right? And you can you can see that guy up there. He's got his big battle station up and on, disco mode, not disco mode, rave mode, right? There's smoke pouring out of the thing. Right, so and, he, and, cool. and he's in the middle of you know harem hacking or whatever it is that he's doing. <laughs> harem hacking, <laughs> yes. And um, he's uh, what is it? We gotta name this dude. We gotta name this dude. Um, Fucking Cyber Chad. <laughs> Cyber <laughs> Chad. Did, did name him earlier. Okay, so Cyber Chad. Um, Cyber Chad six nine is up there. Uh, <laughs> is up there. He with, knows the dialogue. Yeah, with the. Um, <laughs> With the um, with the the mist machine pouring out of this room, there's like laser lights going on, and you know he's in the middle of a run. You know it. You know it. Um, and your your system, because of that that triple success you had earlier, your system detects another like microburst ping. Right, coming from up there. Meanwhile, Elrain, you're scanning the floor, right, and there's one more tough down here. This guy in mirror shades, big mohawk, right? He's got big, thick arms. 
uh, no gun. And he's like, hey, what are you guys doing down here? You got to get out. This here belongs Got no to business me. with you. This here belongs to the man, Mr. Chrome himself. Who's, who's Mr. Chrome? There's two, the man? It's, it's, it's what he makes me call him. I don't know, he's some, he's some dweeb looking, looking freak, but it makes me call him Mr. Chrome. Right. You know he's talking about Cyber Chat. Yeah. All right, well, <laughs> I got no business with you. Got business with him. Well, if you got business with him, you got business with me. Come here, man. And he's like, comes over to you guys. Uh, so <laughs> let's. All right, get him. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about... Sorry. Um, so I want I want both of you to give me a crashing roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect. <laughs> One. That is a passionate oh, action. No, 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 no. So, El Rain, you have a baton. You are prepared. I do, yeah. You are prepared. Yeah. So, you at least get two. I'm going to say, okay. I'm going to say, El Rain, if you want to upgrade from baton, I'll give you a third. See, I want to save that. Okay. Okay. So, two I want to save. Two for you. Two for you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, now, now, uh, Night Shroud, you're not using the taser. That's only got it's it's one and done. Yeah. When you plug it in, it's yeah. one and done. Yeah. So so I'm giving you one right now because you're not leveraging mm -hmm. any other items to deal That's with right. this guy. Okay. Cool. <laughs> it's hell raining, men. Stop it, Chad. I so good. I am dying. I am dying. <laughs> I'm dying. Raining, man. You know, oh. I was worried about this name when I picked it. Now, no. <laughs> All your, all your biggest nightmares have, have come to fruit. Whoa. I got a six and a five. So <gasps> I got, to, I finally success twice. Yes. Yes. Yay. Awesome. I got a six. You got a six? You yes. got a six? Oh my God. Okay. So I'm going to say, okay. Night Shroud, your, your effort was to get around this guy, right? Yeah. You didn't want to mess with him at all. And he was coming for you because you said your business right. with the man upstairs. And you guys. It's like you've done this before, right? He's coming at you with these big, like, man crusher arms. You know that if he touches you, Night Shroud might not be so much a shroud as, a, like, a crumpled up ball on the floor, right? <laughs> Can't really shroud shit when you're a small little puddle. Um, and he's coming for you, and you duck and weave, get under a train, and pop up on the other side, and he comes over that train. He just vaults himself over, and that's where you are, Elraine. As you take that baton right to the temple, right to the temple, and he just collapses. And I don't know, you're not breathing anymore. So <laughs> she also is like, like panic he's already, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's on the ground and probably gives him like another seven hits. <laughs> just and the whole time it's just like, like yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, and just like <laughs> awful, <laughs> just like hitting him. Never done this before. Yes. Never in all my ten years of of. Yeah, I'm still new. This is new. Every everything is new. You've never, but, never uh, killed that, a raptor. <laughs> that child, he kind of, he kind of stops. So he'll he'll turn around and just looking at. Him. You see, you see, as she continues to beat him, and and it's it's a moment of disturbance because. You can tell that the panic is creating a vicious cycle. He gets beat <clears throat> and his body convulses, which looks like an attack, which makes her panic more. So she beats him more. And this thing is like looping in a way such that Night Shroud has to kind of turn away. Yeah. <laughs> it should be fine. <laughs> one once like like i said after like seven hits she'll kind of just back away and be like i think he i think he's he's taking a break <laughs> he's on a smoke break <laughs> I'm like, I'm yeah, like a you 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 kind of look around uh el rain and you're alone oh shit because <laughs> night shroud's moved on i think yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. probably probably announced like like i'm gonna i gotta I gotta go. You didn't hear any of those words. You did not hear those <laughs> no, words. No, no, no. <laughs> so, uh, El Rain, you have this moment of like just quiet, calm in this old train yard, train house, train station. Um, 
What do you do? We'll, we'll catch up with uh, Nitrog in just a moment. But what does Elraine do with this this kind of moment of peace after murder? I just uh, I just realized something that should have been obvious to us during character creation, but she's gonna pull out an old fashioned inhaler and <laughs> and just take it and then like just try to listen for like any kind of sound. Yeah. Look to see if there's any stairs. Yeah, she knows up. Yeah, and there so are, she's there are just gonna like going up, and you can hear this door open and shut upstairs, uh, and the, you can hear this like rhythmic thumping of 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 rave music above uh-huh. you as Nitro has entered the den of Cyber Chad 69. And is he, is he, he jacked in? He's jacked in. He his, like... his, his rig is full chrome. It's fucking gorgeous. Your rig, you know your rig is top line and somehow he's on a topper line. How did he do that? You have, you have, you have a half dome of scream screens this dude has a full dome full fucking dome of screens he can see in 360 the net and he's just standing there with his hands doing this and like shit's happening on screen and it's like you didn't know frame rates could get that high and he's doing it and then you can see he's got this like alert pop up that says that says girlfriend and he like just just flings it and hits the thing, and your little your little detector bloop, bloop, just got another microburst as he looked for girlfriend. And then he's still he's still hacking away, fucking taking down dragons and shit. I think I think Nitrab is he is he vulnerable? He's not looking at you at all. Yeah, I think I think maybe not fully processing what this is all going to cause. Yeah. But I think just a just a fucking just a sink tear. This is, this is for Kwai Lee, you son of a bitch. And fucking stab he's gonna get him with the taser sure. while he's still jacked in. Sure, yeah. So you you go to do this. Give me a system check. Yes, and I'm gonna give calm, you calm, cool, I'm, and collected. Yeah, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you two, because right. no, I'm gonna give you three because you're prepared. You're an expert, and the one die. I'm gonna give you three dice on okay. this kid. All right, uh, a one, a four, and a two. It's three successes. Damn, cool. So you're walking towards this dude as you realize this whole room is booby trapped. He he. He's in his like zone of protection. And and there's this moment of inspiration where you're like, I can't get to him to stab him. But I can fling my phone horizontal between the between the little mo- monofilament uh you know cattle prod esque <laughs> taser barrier that he has. So you fling that phone, it drifts passing to the monitors right for his like mm-hmm. sphere of control and it like glances him and you see his whole body sees as this huge fucking like net dragon is like rending into him he's no longer fighting this thing and you see as his like body wrenches in pain not from the taser which is currently making him shit himself but also whatever damage he's suffering from the net itself because he was in the middle of a heavy run when this was Stuck going on. ice. Yeah. Chad. Exactly. exactly. And as Stuck he like, ice. as he like falls to the ground being devoured by this net dragon, you see him reach his left hand up and a finger go towards girlfriend one more time <laughs> as cyber Chad 69 dies. I'm going to see if I can salvage some of that rig. Sweet. <laughs> Give me system check. <laughs> so is that, El- El- is that Rain- another is that another three dice? To, <laughs> yeah. To fucking yeah, scavenge. Yeah. So El Rain, you heard this like huge shock and a in a in a in a like in a thunderous scream. Well, a shrill scream. As <laughs> Cyber Chad sixty nine dies. <laughs> yeah. Um uh and you're and you and you kind of into it. That somebody up there has 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 died. You don't know who yet, mm. 
but somebody's died. Whatever was going to happen has happened at this point. Okay. Yeah, she's going to soccer mom speed walk up the stairs because we're still trying to be. <laughs> yeah, we're still trying to be uh, secretive. Yep. And uh, mm -hmm. and like, can can she have like she doesn't even try to test the door, but maybe this is cool. And if it's not, then it's great. I want her to just kind of like in a moment of like just that adrenaline, just yeah, and like try to kick the door down. <laughs> give me a, stop. but give me a a, yeah. a crashing, give me a crashing so bad. I'm gonna okay. give, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you at least two. I want to give you okay. at least two because she's in the zone. She's just murdered somebody for the first time. She feels like a badass. So yeah. <laughs> is the is the bloodlust helping with the panic? That's what I think. I think the I, I think. think the, is she having it's a like, moment of clarity? She has agency <laughs> over the world for the first time ever. And that she has taken a life and exerted her will over a thing by destroying it. <laughs> She's the shift lead now. She is the shift lead. Full circle. So my thing is three. Oh, I got a three. I got a three. Um, And then a one. Okay. Awesome. 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 Yeah. So, uh... Uh, you were crashing, so you wanted to get it over. But either way, you 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 crash the system. Yeah. El Rain, and I like chat El Rain as in like kingdom. Uh, you bust through <laughs> this door. It cracks off the hinges. It was a steel door. Maybe it was rusted. Who knows? But either way, that thing is fucking ruined as it clatters to the floor. And you come in with your like mom walk pose, right? <laughs> You're like here to take charge of the problem at hand and make sure... Mm -hmm. Your kid gets on the team they're supposed to get on. And you see Night Shroud has pulled out two glowing cores from this dude's super awesome rig. They're they're so bright, they're hard to look at. And you can you can see a dead Cyber Chad 69 on the floor. Right? You got the 6090s, that fucker. <laughs> And and you're you're in command of this of this situation and of this room. What do you want to know? What insight? What question do you have? Um, uh, would this room be secure enough for us to keep the box while we wait for backup? I'm going to give you more than that. Oh. I'm going to say that this room has the key to let you unlock that box. Okay. Okay. That okay. Night Shroud wasn't even focused on. He's, he's, he's getting rig parts. He's up in his game for the next run. But you're still on this run, and this run has artifacts in this room that you find. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Yeah, she's gonna. She's just gonna be like thinking about that, but also just say like, "I have ten more pages. I gotta add to the PDF after this." <laughs> How to secure a location? Exactly. Exactly. Doors equal weaknesses. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Big guys but die then, when you hit them in the temple many times. <laughs> a lot you know, of the time. You know. Just more, way more than necessary. <laughs> Things to know, things to know. Yeah. Um, and she'll she'll look at Night Shroud and be like, "We need to get the box, bring it here." Did you want to go and then go down the stairs and uh, Sweet. go to get the box? Awesome. The box. Night Shroud has backpack. Like yeah, the box yeah, is still is. with Flask and and cool. old Puck. Um, cool. And and Flask. You're you're down there. You're with uh, you're with Puck and Guy, and there's this moment um, of clarity that hits you. Flask and his like dude, not Flask. My apologies, Puck and his partner. They have not been on investigator mode every day for the last six months, like you have. So they're pretty far gone. And that you were good stuff. very lucid at this stage. And you're pretty sure if you just kind of get these two guys to like lean against a sturdy post, um, they might not even realize that the crate they've been eyeing this whole time is gone. Yeah. As you have been like working these guys this whole time. Yeah. 
with that amazing crash roll from earlier. So this is this is what's going to happen. There's there's two potential paths in in Flask's head right now. Yeah. And so you know he's going to kind of take the last um, you know like draw of his item, uh, and then <laughs> you know he's he's going to pull up a new one, mm-hmm. and he's just going to ask in a real kind of calm, cool voice um, to Puck, be like. I gotta ask this, man. We've we've been we've been vibing. Feel like I know you. I've told you some things. I haven't I haven't said in a while, and uh, I just want to know: Are you gonna stop me from getting it? Looks like, man, Flask. Here's the thing: I might not want to, but I might still have to. Isn't that fucked up? That's that's real fucked up. Now, that's sad, but you know, let's make the best of it now. Want another one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit me up. So he's gonna hand him the new one, mm-hmm. and he's gonna take his lighter, mm-hmm. and he's gonna start to light his thing that he just can, and then he's gonna turn it on as a weapon. <laughs> the like micro flamer. Flame torch yeah. you got. Awesome. Yeah. Give me a crashing. Just... Give me a crashing. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm going to give you three because you've prepared for this moment. You're an expert, you know, yeah. and you get the die. Because, like, you have worked this guy into this moment of vulnerability where you can just, mm-hmm. like, light his shit on fire. Right? Mm-hmm. And he might not immediately die, but he, depending on how many successes you get, he will. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Come give on. Me, give me a get crashing. <laughs> I got two crashes and one six. So I got three successes overall. Two of those are crashes. Hell yes. So yeah, Hell there's, yes. there's this moment where there's this moment where like he doesn't even realize what's happening. He's like, yo, dude, it's getting an, as you like kill him. Mm-hmm. And there's this there's this like there's this time you have after he's died where you can rifle through his things and come to some important discoveries about the life, the universe, and everything. What, what questions do you have? All right. So do I get two questions? Yeah, because I got two you, crashes? Yeah, you one? get two questions because you had two crashes. All right. Crashes. One thing is, is there a way for me to convince the other guard to be like, hey, man, you didn't see anything tonight. You're done. Totally. Like, yeah, I'll yeah. just give that one to you. You, you know that um this guy is also pretty far along you just killed his like his like mentor uh Mm -hmm. and he's he's probably gonna like leave this neighborhood if you don't do anything (laughs) yeah (laughs) (laughs) so okay um and then the question is what can i do to stop the debt from stopping me from getting it awesome um, well, I think that at this stage you have you have pretty well understood from the universe that what you need to get is in this crate. And debt be damned, you can get what's in this crate. You might still have debt, but it's not going to stop you from getting it. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is. Okay. All right. And then just because you know, it's flask. Uh, I am going to rifle through his things yeah. and just take whatever sure. <laughs> would make sense to go in a fit of a trench coat. In my yeah, you, you, all this shit is now in your possession somewhere, and you'll find it later when you need it. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Um, and as you're, like, hunched over his body doing this, the other guys run off. Um, Elrain, you come onto the scene. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, a charred out face. Um, and uh, you see, you see, Flask is like just finished pilfering the body, um, and uh, and you have the the crate there with you. The other guard's gone. You don't even see where he went. He's gone. Okay, she's like not really going to be worried about that anymore. Too, too ramped. Yeah. Too ramped. Amped. Yep. Both of those things. Ramped and amped. Yep. Um. <laughs> New words. Um, and just just be like, the room upstairs has a key. We got to get the box to the room. I, wanna, I want you have the key. You took the key. 
I have, have the key. You have it. You have it. I have you the key. Have it. Oh my you have god. It. You have it. I have the key. You have <laughs> Flask is like, as he like hears someone is here and he hears that it's um, L Rain. He's just gonna stand up. He's he's gonna take the little you know burnt, you know stub of the the item he just gave to and just finish that off. Throw it and go. He finishes it. He finishes it. Yeah, he the definitely finishes man. it. And then <laughs> the dead man's joint. He just yes. Man, and then he's just going to in in a like in a beautifully elegant for someone his size yeah. just gets to the the case and goes let's open this. Yeah. I think the and... night crowd comes downstairs and is like guys has got fucking Cheetos what a chode. He's like <laughs> eating them and he's got like all these cores strapped to him. <laughs> <laughs> like just you're rig, like, just you're, rig parts, just yeah. all over. <laughs> the power you emanate is uh, is is untold at this point, Nitro. <laughs> They're all synced up now. Yeah. He's got them like he took the time to get them synced, so the RGB is all just going at the same time. <laughs> can can we have a moment where it's just kind of like a beautiful like shot from the back of the case? Yeah, and then L Rain, Nitro, and Flask, just kind of the three. I'll rain with the keys. Just gonna say, "Let's get it," and then pop it open. Sweet, yeah. You, uh, you, you, uh, you uh, put that like, you know, little credit card shaped RFID thing. Just skated across the thing, and and the the you can hear seals popping, and this mm -hmm. like big, huge, heavy slab starts sliding off. It glides off, but you can just tell that it's heavy. You know, bulletproof, ordnance proof type mm -hmm. material and you realize now that most of this case is just like layers of thick ass protection and tech and the smoke clears and there's this like electric blue long hair that like shrouds a, a humanoid form and as as the <laughs> as the as the smoke clears you can see there's this like obviously synthetic human present <laughs> and and their their hair like slowly takes appropriate form as like the as it like becomes its you know designed moment right it's designed fashion um it, the the form is still sleeping right just everything's coming together right um, and you can see in this, in this case, it says, it says, there's a little like handwritten note on an old piece of like pressed paper, you know, somebody like hand pulped and fashioned this paper as a corporate drone. You know, that this is, this is a relic. This is something that doesn't exist anymore. Somebody put real care into this and it's like in, in fine brush. Uh, calligraphy it says uh to my dear friend uh who is it hold on a second let me let me look at the thing uh to my dear friend um uh uh, uh gixard gixard okay. of of the wizards <laughs> i want you to have this ceo and president of goog <laughs> And you realize that you're looking at the personal gift from one titan of industry to another. And somehow, fucking Chad69 had worked it so that it could get down to this level, so that he could take it for himself. And this is like potentially the first fully synthetic human that's ever existed. Is in this case, and it's a think, fucking gift from one douche to another. Night, night shroud weeps <laughs> in adoration. Yeah. Says, they fucking, they fucking did it. Flask has also a moment where he just falls to his knees and just is putting together everything of like, I've reached it. This is it. Lorraine doesn't know what the fuck's going on. She's like. <laughs> It's a person? I'm gonna... 
This is a big boat. This is big for me, but on on a pragmatic level, we're gonna make so much fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make so much money. <laughs> we like, we can't we can't sell this. This no, is it. No, this is This is a chorus of angels. This is a chorus of angels made real. We're gonna make so much fucking money. <laughs> this is amazing. Lauren's gonna take out her pen and like flip over the PDF and just be like, can someone please explain to me so I can take notes? Yeah. This is it. Well, uh, and the flask is gonna sorry, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, please, flask. Flask is gonna go over it like to this, you know, form and while answering Elrain's question, go, this is it. This is it. This is it. Just confused. She's just going to write. And kind of a little sad because she still doesn't get it. She's going to be like, this is it? Question mark. We got it. We got it. (laughs) And then he's going to hug everybody. I know what I said about taking the three month break, but you gotta hit me with one mail. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> just fucking just weep. <laughs> so everyone can be on detective mode if they wish. As yeah, as a as a corporate drone, you understand that like the 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 biggest of bosses, the captains of all of this are like mm. they 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 understand the world in a different way like they make decisions that are bizarre to el rey mm-hmm. and which is part of the reason why she is crashing the system right mm-hmm. she's seen it right and you are looking at this thing this is a marvel of technology this is potentially changing the course of human history forever a fully synthetic being and it's being given as like I don't know, uh, a a prize from one super rich douche to another. And it's like, this unravels so many questions she's had, so many mysteries about why did my corporation do this? Why did that corporation do that? And then it starts to come together. Oh, oh, this is just a fraternity of douchebags that do little things to show how cool and powerful they are to each other. And that's why all of this around you, the, like the, the bottle of truth is opening for the first time. That the reason why nothing ever makes sense is because the game they're playing is completely different than the world you're living in. And it's a world of, their, their game is power plays through bizarre, rare, human changing gifts and weird shit like that, that now so much of the mystery of the world is starting to come unraveled for for El Rey. I got to try and find a way to give you the truth. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, okay. uh, she might like <laughs> have just like an internal like uh like a beautiful mind moment yeah. of just like all the things happening. And in real life, just kind of like quiet screams, just kind of like, ah, and kind of like go down and like squat and just kind of like think about everything because now her life is a lie. Um, and so, right, the truth yeah. should be uh, deeply upsetting, and uh, it is, and, and 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 throw you into an existential spiral that you'll never recover from. So that's good. That's for, what sure. I wanted. for sure, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> now you just gotta get it, and then that'll that'll overcome that angst. Now the next step, getting it. Um, that's right. But um, Flask is still if, if if she <laughs> left um, the hug, Flask is definitely still hugging. Yeah. Um, so you just like went down like with one because she was like in this and was just kind of like thinking about it, and then like just like crouched down in the hug. So you're that's like. Funny. That's great. Very short on one side. That's great. And then, no. Oh, man. 
<laughs> awesome. Wow. Um, I don't have anything else on Crash the System. <laughs> That's a that's a beautiful that's a beautiful scene to end on, really. I think so, yeah. So this is all of us weeping for our own reason, yeah. hugging. <laughs> Hatsune Miku's here. <laughs> and it's real. So what There's I had a charred rolled, body in the back. What I had rolled was local crime boss wants to steal the first artificial person to start a corporate war. And <laughs> As we were rolling through this, I was like, no, it's got to be, it's got to be Chad, Cyber Chad. It's got to be, you know, like, <laughs> we have to use some of the things that we've created along the way. Oh, for I mean, sure. that's, still, that's still pretty fucking close to what you rolled, which is yeah. amazing. Yeah. Well, once you said Hatsune Miku, I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> got to. Because we even did that um, on a... Um, on a on a crash the system roll right yeah. like that's that's just good <laughs> uh, oh man damn <laughs> oh good oh man i'm so glad that this is exactly what you envisioned as an example of play <laughs> that makes me feel so happy i was like this could either be exactly what they had in mind or the opposite <laughs> so i'm so glad yeah, to know this. yeah. Uh, it's like either this was supposed to be serious and we've done something very different or <laughs> Or it's just just meant to be a romp. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Yeah, this was a really fun game. This oh, was super so easy good. to put together. I mean, so much fun. I read the rules earlier today. Um, <laughs> we made characters. I came up with a plot, <laughs> so good. and then the thing happened. Like that was good. That was so good. Um, so, folks, oh, this geez. game. Just so you all know, as we uh, round out the end of it, let me just link it here in the the chat. Uh, this game is available on H.io. Pay what you want. I dropped two bucks, right? That's the suggested thing, but you could do more. Um, and uh, Gunmetal Draws, dude, thanks for coming in and hanging out. This was so yeah. much fun. And the chat, you guys have been amazing uh, all evening. This has been so much fun just to see like the mm -hmm. ideas coming in. That was that was really, really good. Um, yeah. yeah it's, it's exceptional. Oh man, yeah, this yeah. is good. This is so good. So yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Uh, Gunmel, please reach out. Let's hang out. Let's do some other stuff in the future. That'd be so so awesome. Um, we did lasers and feelings earlier. I'm so glad we got to do this one. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. These little one shots are so much fun to do whenever like our other games okay. are on break or whatever. Um, yeah. So yeah, this will definitely be on YouTube, and we will link it and post it on the socials and all that good stuff that'll that'll go out into the world. Um, and other stuff the con save blair thank you for joining us from the con save you guys are awesome yes thanks it's always fun to be here it's always a good time i'm glad i was able to wake up for it <laughs> my time zone because yeah, you're in like another continent <laughs> mm -hmm. so good of you just to a little us. bit yes. just a little. other side of the planet oh yes come yeah. in the barbarian yes i can hey please do please do that's what we need oh. is more is, is some conan game um Awesome. Yeah. So this is High Shelf Gaming. We do this. We do a podcast sometimes. We're going to be at Gen Con this year. All that good stuff. Um, Ethan, G is just G. Gavin, I mean, thank you so much, for both of you. Awesome. No, I love these games so much. Yeah. Uh, I want to have artwork done of Flask, Night Shroud, <laughs> yes. and El Rain. Just <laughs> so bad. I feel like El Rain, El Rain to me gave me the vibes of like the the LARPer girl from like the first few episodes of the What We Do in the Shadows TV show. <laughs> yes, just, like, yes, I know exactly. Just, That's yeah. spot on. Oh, just man. like very, very chill. Oh, oh, BPR John, I don't know why you didn't get the, the notif. You should watch this. This was a lot of fun. Um, so much what? fun. God, like Ooh. I'm an illustrator. Okay, all right. All right. We'll, 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 chat, we'll chat. We'll chat. We'll chat. <laughs> that is that is a dangerous <laughs> dangerous offer you just gave us. <laughs> oh, oh, this is good. Okay, so we are gonna raid. We love raiding. Um, we have a good friend over in Cyberwolf, twelve oh one, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, Cyberwolf twelve oh one. Playing the Minecraft. Playing the Minecraft right now. Um, <laughs> you know what you just did. That's right. Um, so yeah. We're gonna raid to several. He's playing Minecraft right now. He's a chill friend of the show. Uh, he's gonna be running a game here before too long, um, and mm -hmm. so we're prepping on that one. That's gonna be really, really cool when we get closer to that. Um, so we're gonna go over, give him some emojis, give him some love. Um, Connor or Cyberwolf is just an awesome, awesome human, and he has a, like a special like camera for his dog. So like while you're watching a yes. play, you always get to see 
what his dog is up to, which is great. Lady. Yeah. Lady's so cute. Cute little, cute yeah. little puppy. Yeah. So we're going to read over there. Um, everybody, thanks a ton for tuning in. Um, Gunmetal Draws, dude, awesome that you showed up. Thank you so much. As always, have fun and play well. Your rolls be crisps. Yo, right. Bye, yeah. bye, bye, bye. <laughs>